Okay, so, hello. Here we are. Hello. We've returned once again. Pearls on my face. Oh my god. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I almost didn't say anything, but it was too funny not to. I I was looking away from my laptop, cuddling Bailey. I guess that's there. We go. That's better. That's better. Oh, Um, oh, it was nice while it lasted. I'm having a time. Not expecting to hear that sentence. We are having a time. Isn't that the way to go, though, uh, Jay? <laughs> Not that kind of bard. <laughs> <laughs> You're Hashtag always that, that kind, kind of bard. bard. <laughs> sorry, you would face is doing his intro. Stop interrupting everybody. I'm so sorry. I, I'm honestly What's dying. It? I'm having so many tech issues today. <laughs> I don't think it's you on this one though. No. Last yeah, week. No, it's Twitch. Last week. You guys uh, came across this this happening in in uh, uh, the basically it's it's kind of not a desert but it is a kind of desert everything sucks in this country basically um, and these yeah these <laughs> these cultists <laughs> were trying to smash a crystal into the ground uh, it clearly has something to do with uh, what Jay and Zero have been infected by. Uh, because your your spores were reacting to it, uh, but you managed to kill the cultists. You managed to uh, destroy the crystal, yeah, and um, that's when you which uh, then proceeded to <coughs> knock both Zaconus and Frost unconscious. Did it? Oh yeah, because well, they were in range. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, so that's where we're at. The, the fight's just ended, and your half of your team has just been blasted. Um, Does that put my hit points at zero right now? It doesn't. You're it's you're just unconscious, uh, but you're not at zero hit points now. Pearl. The boys. Yes. Sorry, I'm still not over. <laughs> Snap out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I was not facing my computer and I heard the sentence Pearl is on my face, all right? <laughs> I've had a week. <laughs> Taking me a while to come I, down. I appreciate that, that that can take a lot of people a while to recover from. <laughs> But uh, we, you know, come on, it's it's business time. <laughs> oh God! Let's see. Pearl, um, okay, boys. I yes, I know. <laughs> I'm coming. Uh, I how many fucking spell slots do I have left? One second. I'm going to run over to uh, whoever's nearest to me. Fuck, I don't have any level two. Uh, who is, I can't see who's nearest to me, but I'm going to run over to them. Uh, nearest to you would be Zaconis. Bam. Okay, I'm going to give him a little shake. Just a little. Zaconis! Zaconis, is, it's Javiel! Can you hear me? Can you hear me? And I'm going to just give him a little little gentle slap to the chops. Just a gentle one. Zaconis is... Um, Still unconscious. He, he's unresponsive. So he's, he, he makes some little groaning noises. I'm going to try and tickle Frost's ribs. Uh, yeah, Frost <laughs> is unconscious, but is making some groaning noises. <laughs> um, I am going to uh, cast at level one um, Cure Wounds on Zaconis. Uh, okay, uh, and that will Bye. that will uh, heal him to the tune of one d eight plus my spell cast spell casting ability modifier, which is now uh, this is f- plus five, so that's four plus five nine nine HP restored. Zaconis heals by nine HP, but does not wake up. Uh, I'm gonna. 
cast Thunderclap. Um, but hang <laughs> 10 feet away from all of us so that it doesn't cause any harm, but just so that it is a very loud bang to try and wake them up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cantrip. I might as well try it. <laughs> uh, you, 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 out Jesus! Of, out of nowhere, you just cast this. <laughs> uh, Warn me next time. They they continue groaning, but do, do not wake up. the The vultures were not happy about that sound. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably a good thing we've scared them off from our anyways. I don't like the, uh, them looming around while we've got two people out for the count maybe we should just wait how far away did we leave the wagon wagon's pretty close uh you also know that there is a village close by and the crystal's destroyed right the crystal has been destroyed and pretty much disintegrated i was gonna say are there any fragments remaining uh you, you suspect that the magic that was contained within this crystal too much when it exploded and evaporated. Pulverized. Mm. Gotcha. Um, shall we carry them back to the wagon and just get them the f out of here? <clears throat> Lobato, come here. Grab, grab, grab Zaconis. Yeah, Lobato just trundles over and it's like, uh... where would you like him, sir? Well, in the wagon, obviously. We've got to get... We should get out of here. We need to find some help. Uh, and I send... Lobato starts trudging back towards the wagon with uh, Zaconis in hand. Uh, I, I, I'm going to... I mean, I'm going to... Obviously, because, you know, I'm a boy, I'm going to try and lift Frost dead weight in armour. <laughs> Not but seeing as my you... strength modifier is minus four, this could be yet another well, physical exertion embarrassment for me in front of Pearl. So yeah, obviously, yeah. I cast guidance on myself. <laughs> give, me, give me the strength check. <laughs> you have the strength of two. <laughs> I think if we. Yeah, you've got to cast a bit of guidance, haven't you? you oh, well, that's a nat well. one. Oh, oh no! In your you... effort, you fall unconscious. <laughs> You <laughs> tried Sorry, to pick. Frost. You tried to pick Frost up, uh, but you like. You're not really used to lifting things, so you just do it in the most awkward way possible. For about two minutes, you're just sort of like lifting up his legs and then his arms, and then like, and it just he's his just boot like, comes off. Yeah, he's just like flopping over you, and then you're getting trapped, <laughs> and then you're just like trying to get out from underneath him, and uh, yeah, you. <laughs> You yeah. might need Lobato to help you with this one. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> how, how far away is the wagon again? <laughs> um, it's it's just off the south, like the south of this board, so you're looking... The way it's looking on stream right now is sort of north, so you're... I, yeah, I, you're... Guess, I guess I've cocked around long enough for Lobato <laughs> to have returned. Yeah, yeah. You, <laughs> Lobato walks back and just sees you struggling. Do you require some assistance, sir? No, no. I mean, I've got this, obviously. But I mean, if you, yeah, if you're up for helping, that that would be great. Certainly, sir. Would you like to get his legs? No, I, th I think you've got it. I think you've got it. Uh, I'm just gonna just dust myself off. Um, good job. Yep. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, and the bottle lifts up for us. Starts walking over to the. The wagon the vultures uh they didn't like the noise <laughs> but they haven't completely left you can still in the distance hear the beating of their massive massive wings i i don't like this pearl i, I think we should get out of here sooner rather than later um yeah, I think that's a good idea. Uh, did we search all the bodies? Uh, I don't think the... any of them. Have been I was going to say I, I, I seem to remember not not too much looting going on. I think the 
Jay cultists. Got, cultists. Jay got um a coded note from one of the I cultists. Got, I've got a regional map, yes. Uh, oh, yeah. and and a map, yeah. So you, yeah, you you you've got the map and this sort of coded message that you can't read. Yeah. Um, that that's from the <laughs> cultists. Uh, can check big big boy, the barbarian -y type. He escaped. By, he, oh, of course he did. Yes, by, of course he did. By Sorry. killing his own <laughs> friend. <laughs> yes, he did. Yeah. <laughs> what a that's, that's a very barbarian of him. That's very. Oh, well, I'm just. Hey. I'm not, I don't want to spend long here. I'm just going to have a, a quick run round. I, Rune's not like that. Something tells me there's probably not going to be anything too <laughs> useful on the, on the zombies, but there used to be people ones. It might be worth checking. Um, but you should stay away from them. I don't want you. I don't want you catching a case of what I've got. <laughs> so okay. <clears throat> uh, where all the, the zombies have exploded? Obviously, they were still wearing whatever they were wearing when they died or when they turned. So yeah. you do find about 30 golds worth of coins just laying around. Okay. Uh, 30 gold. Okay. Um, Grand, I'll, I'll start filling my pockets with that and uh, hightail it for the wagon. Nice. Let's give me try my camera one more time. Yeah, let's give it a quick go. While I, uh, while I, I, I realise as I get to the wagon, that uh, I realise that uh, it's normally the, the 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 chaps that are driving the thing, and I'm suddenly made I'm suddenly made to realise just how little time I've spent actually uh... doing doing any driving. Um, uh, I kind of look at Pearl and I kind of. Oh yeah, the two drivers. So do you, do you, do you, should I drive? Do you, do you want Okay. Okay, I'll, I'm going to have, have a quick, quiet word with Clip and Clop and just go, look, I know you don't understand me, but we've got to get out of here. I, I need you just to cooperate, okay? I don't want any, don't want any tomfoolery. Let's just, that way, okay? That way, yeah? <laughs> I think I see the nod, but I can't tell. I'm not very good at them. <laughs> you, uh, you, you try and point them towards... <clears throat> the the close by village uh <laughs> in the hope that I've said something encouraging what do you want to invade Poland <laughs> 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 Pip and Clop sort of give you a weird look and then start walking away towards <laughs> <laughs> towards the village. <clears throat> um, Pearl, are you sort of pouring stuff on your two uncles? Yeah, do we friends? still have any of that barrel of water that I created from before? Did we use all of that? Um. I'm sure you've probably got I don't some, even remember somewhere. what I created it for. <laughs> 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 I just wanna just wanna splash splash their faces with it a little bit. Yeah, it seems I'm just too much face. Too much of twitch to handle. Maybe like yeah, kinda true. dunk the corner of my cloak in the water and just kinda try and pat down their faces. Just give them a little wet slap. Make sure they're all kept there. Well, yeah, but more gentle. 
Okay. It's Pearl, not me. I'd slap them. <laughs> <laughs> She's gentle. <laughs> um, yeah, they they seem stable and fine. They're just not waking up right now. They they okay. seem they seem like they're putting it on a bit now. Actually, they seem like they're just. The unconscious. <laughs> I'm gonna try and discord. In my yeah. in, in my bag, there's there's the um, the book. You know, a hundred and one uses for eye gunk, and. Um, I seem to remember somewhere around number seventy six. It was something about you can waft it under someone's nose, and it's a bit like smelling salts. Do you do you have it? Where is it? It's, it's in my bag. You'll find a little. If it's yeah, there's a vial. Well, oh, there's lots of vials. It's it's what one it of the really like? small ones. It's it's small. Just gonna it's, start rummaging in his bag. <laughs> it's gunkier than most. Gunkier than okay. Uh, I'll see if I can find it. Do I have to roll to see? If Don't I open the, the brown right one. Uh, wait. <laughs> yeah, give me. I seem to remember you wrote the book. Of course, all I have is a vague memory. Give me Phase an intelligence history. check to see if you can okay. figure out which one is the right one. Oh no! <laughs> Oh, you better I'm not have that, that one. one. <laughs> Give that one my vials. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Just be careful in there, okay? Because there's lots of there's lots of valuable stuff in there, okay? So be careful when you're rummaging through. You will, won't you? Uh, <clears throat> you, you, you pick up what you can only describe as a vial of eye gunk. Gunk. <laughs> 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 but when you when you open it uh the slime inside quickly whoop, darts out and runs away oh and I, know, uh, I think i released something does the eye gunk normally run away on its own you didn't open the brown one did you i told you not to open the brown one I, uh, yeah, I don't know what that is, but is it is it is it left or is it still on the wagon? I start uh, nervously looking around on my feet. Has it left? <laughs> uh, you don't see exactly where it went. It's just gone. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm sorry. Okay, just just let me know if it comes back. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> She's just gonna like gently tap on their foreheads with the empty vial because she's like i don't know what i'm doing anymore <laughs> maybe the cold of the glass <laughs> the cold or the hardness one of the two i'm sure something will wake them up eventually you uh you spend about 10 15 minutes just trying everything you can with the, just tapping them on the face with this glass and sort of go just prodding them and being like i don't know like just scratching your head and being uh and they they eventually both around the same time start to start to wake up oh good <laughs> Uh, hi, sleepyheads. So, what happened? Smash the crystal. Uh, yeah, the crystal kind of exploded. Are you two feeling okay? Hell yeah, I broke it. <sighs> if the guy so. with the hammer couldn't smash it, that means I would have beat him in a contest of strength. Because <laughs> I did. I could. Okay, I, I good for you, Zirconus. So are you feeling okay? <sighs> Check is the spore still on my hand? It is, yeah. Didn't, didn't mm. they disintegrate as these? Because about as good as I can. Doesn't feel. Mm. 
you know, when when you were in the fight, it started to feel like it was getting stronger, but it's definitely died down a lot now. I gotta say, I've got a feeling that some of that energy rubbed off on me, actually. I feel stronger than before. <laughs> Only slightly. But you all probably feel it quite a bit more powerful, more experienced. Yeah. Uh, Snap. Yeah, you guys have woken up and you're in the wagon. The last thing you remember. The crystal exploding. Uh, you don't know where you're going. What's happening? What happened? Why you're not still at the place? Uh, uh, These are good, good questions. Where where are we headed? Actually, should me or Sakonis take over driving, or <sighs> are you fine uh, running the horses? Uh, oh, I'm not even aware you're awake yet. I'm just de really focused on the horses and the road. <laughs> Are we still on the road, Jay? <laughs> <laughs> oh! Yeah, we're still moving. You're up. <sighs> yep, sure am. Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, got this under under control. Yep. Yeah, no problems. Uh, we're going that way, and I think that's where the village is near here. What village? Which one? The nearby village. Have, do we know the name? Have we? Was it on the map? You can give me a history check to see if you remember the name of the village. Okay. That's a that's a nat twenty, yo. Ooh, nice. <laughs> yeah. It's all the roots. The, the you you know exactly where the village is, and you know it is called Kurdiv. Kurdiv. Yeah. K U R D W E V. Well, I know Kudiv because we're getting closer and closer to Alteria, uh, right? Jay knows it because he got his history check, but it's not in the same country that no. Alteria's in, so you might know it from passing by, but... Would I give, another hi would I give a history check as well? wasn't too great for me anyway. You can give me a history check. I mean, don't worry about it, Frost. Yeah, I, can yeah, tell you, yeah. I can tell you all about it. I remember loads about it. That, that is not bad for, for my standards. That's pretty tell, good on history. I can tell you where the best pies are in Khadiv. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Frost Just remembers the name, but not exactly where it was. Oh, yeah. I think I did pass through that uh, one. I have no I idea. Mr. Kronos was no clue. <laughs> We've been there. <laughs> I think that's how I, like, one of the places I visited, the one originally going through uh, the Hagelslag Tavern and Drechibrana. The well, Hagelslag Tavern is a chain pub, so, you know, they're everywhere. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, 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 I'm, no, I'm just saying, when I went from Alteria to the, to the Hagelslag Tavern, no, I had to slop, stop by in some places, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Probably didn't dwell too long, though, so. Um, I don't know much. <clears throat> so yeah, you with that history check, you managed to guide uh, the wagon and the whole rest of the party to Kurdiv. <clears throat> On arriving there, you see it has recently been attacked uh, by, you can only assume, the cultists. Hopefully the ones you just killed, but maybe not. Pop by at some point. I don't know. I've, I've done some travelling. Yeah, that's fair. In your six, in the six months we've been apart. Well, no, I'm you know, and I'm just older than you. I've seen some stuff. How old were you again? I'm not, you know, I'm not just complete, complete provincial hick, you know. How old were you again? I was, old, I enough, old enough to be your dad. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you are a half elf, <laughs> so you live pretty long. Yeah, I've been around. Right, yeah, yeah, hmm? yeah, yeah. All right, fair. Look, if the cultists, if this is the cultists doing, there could be more zombies around. So, even if even if the uh, it was done by the cultists, we just dealt with. There's nothing to say that there aren't still some some infected around. So, keep your eyes out. Yeah, you guys can just. Why don't you guys go ahead then? If the zombies explode, they can't give you more spores. 
And then you guys are already infected anyway, so... Look, the infection isn't the only thing we've got to worry about. If the, if the entire town's been turned, well, we, could, we could find ourselves outnumbered. Lobotto. Sentry mode. If we so have... So. He just pokes his head up the through the wagon and starts rotating like a turret. Just periscoping around. <laughs> periscoping around, yeah. His head's just swiveling slowly through 360 on constantly. Isn't it? Like, isn't almost it like one of those Google Google Maps cars. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should we just burn the houses down then? If there's, if you think the city's overrun by zombies. I don't think anything yet. We've only just arrived. I'm just being cautious, that's all. Could still be survivors hiding. Right. Oh, I I'm going to so. slow the wagon down. I mean, uh, we found two in the other village, so... Uh, well, we found one outside the village. And then one let's, in. Let's oh, head to the village. Let's, with me. let's head to the centre, see if... Uh, see if we can find any undamaged sections, see if we can find anyone else out here. Yeah, I head that way. Okay, right, so I'm going to ride ride the wagon slowly through the streets, looking for any undamaged buildings, signs of life. You uh, uh, head the down square. As as you roll through the streets of Cardiff, there's a lot of broken down buildings. Uh, <laughs> the red haze that's always around in this country is very sort of still here it seems like it's a lot more you know active out out on the plains uh when, once you get into the village it's a lot more still you can see a bit better more sheltered um most of the buildings that were on fire have gone out now um there's the you can you can smell obviously the the smoke the, from the remnants of of the the village um you go through you go past quite a few buildings uh until you start to get towards the center and in the center of the village uh you see fighting one of these zombies you see two black hooded figures um one of them seems pretty big, pretty tall, pretty strong, um, but also very fast and agile. Uh, the other one, a lot smaller, but a lot faster, just as deadly. Uh, and it's quite a sight. They are sort of whipping around the battlefield, killing quite a few of these zombies. These uh, black robes, do we recognize them? You do As not. Cultist robes or they they're not really robes. They are hooded. Um, but it seems more like black leather armor. Um oh, I can do with that. They are fully encased. Uh you can't see their faces. They are wearing sort of black leather masks as well. Um you get to cast one spell before we go in, or I would charge in. You... Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, as soon as we see them, I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably, I'm gonna stop, stop the wagon. As soon as I see the zombies, I'm gonna pull the wagon to a, to a halt. How many zombies are, are they fighting at the moment? I mean, what sort of numbers are we talking about? About six or seven. Okay. Um, but they sort of, you, you see, you get here. There's a lot of dead bodies around them, um, and. You see, it seems like this is just towards the end of the fight because a, about six, seven seconds later, after you've seen them fighting these zombies, everything is dead. Uh -oh. And they are left standing there, um, sort of patting themselves down, unbothered by the amount of things they've just murdered. So cool. I'll approach them, just walk up to them. <laughs> in typical frost fashion do they draw their blades or do they at least allow me an opportunity to speak so you're just walking up to them are you yes please don't ask them if they're gay 
Yeah. No. I'll second that. So you guys want to do like a threesome thing or? You. Uh, no, I, I just walk up to them for now. If they if they do anything, I will respond with most likely verbally. I you had to put them in leather jackets, didn't you, Face? This was always going to happen. As soon as you, yeah, yeah, you made them true. cool fighters in leather jackets, he was yeah, always going to just yeah, stroll yeah, right yeah. in there. Yeah. Hey, guys. They cool see... jackets. <laughs> they, uh, yeah. they see you walking up, and the big one says, Stop! All right, I'll stop, and I'll just say, uh, All right, then, uh, just wanting to see if you guys were all right. I was about to rush in, but you handled those zombies so quickly that I didn't even get the chance. Who are you? What uh, are you doing I'm... here? I am Frost, or Jack Terrius, and I am trying to get back to my home of Alteria, which is now in ruins, trying to reclaim that. Uh, we dealt with like a weird zombie crystal down south uh, that a bunch of cultists in black robes, not to be confused with your ladder jackets, of course, we can, like, I noticed a difference there. Uh, some of those things, we killed a bunch of those, one of them got away, but we broke a weird crystal thingy, and now all the remaining zombies go haywire, I guess, but we are as much enemies of those zombies as you are. That's all I can say, with 100% certainty. They seem to relax a little bit. You're not instantly hostile, you don't look like a cultist or a zombie. Um... And they are... I can show my arm like that I have no infection anywhere. They 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 look you up and down and they assess the threat and they're they're pretty confident that they're they're safe for now. <laughs> I beat them in a fight anyway, honestly. I won't say that I like Frost has too much pride to admit that. <laughs> uh so are you the only two survivors left in this village? Because uh, supposedly this was relatively thriving before. Yeah, this village was attacked recently while we were passing through and we got caught in the middle. But do you know if there's more survivors or? We don't know Just yet. You... We haven't had a look. Do you perhaps want to... I have a travelling group with me. Do you want to search for survivors together? We can cover more ground if we... Like, I'll go. They... Don't answer your question. Uh, but one of them says... You say you saw some cultists and smashed a crystal. I got some damaged robes left over. We've been running into them a lot, so a couple of disguises have been handy. <laughs> Killed some cultists and smashed a crystal. Ah, this is my friend uh, Zaconis. He's uh, a druid. I'm going to hop down from the wagon and slowly make my way over. And that is Jay, and then still in the wagon is... I'm following. Oh, you're following me. Okay. Sorry, and I'm following behind up. Jay is our entertainment and our bard, uh, Pearl Avalone. You may have heard of her. She's quite famous in uh, Cavern Abyss. Or quite well known, at least. It's a bit far up north. I don't think my name will have travelled this far. It might have. You don't know. They, they look at each other. They, they give each other a little look. and uh, They nod at each other. And then they start to take off their hoods and masks. Uh, the big guy is revealed uh, to be quite a large dragonborn. Um, he is big and fucking scary looking. Uh, as Perfect companion. <laughs> can you all give me perception checks? Okay, uh, for clarification, I have expertise in this now, so this is too higher than what it ends up being, anyway. Oh, sorry. So that's 12. Perception. So... Perception. You know you can add expertise to your character yeah. sheet in Roll20, right? How? You'll have to tell uh, me. 
Okay. If you go into um, the settings cogwheel next to core bio and spells. Oh, see, yeah, yeah. Um, right. and there you can is... Yeah, I can see. Yeah. There is an option. In yeah, there. yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I find it. Yeah, it's normal expertise. Okay. Yep. Um, King twenty-two from me. What's reliable to passive perception? I'm sorry. What were we rolling? Perception. Perception. <laughs> Thank you. Uh... <laughs> I distracted myself. <laughs> uh, uh, Does this work then? Thirteen from me. Okay. Uh, as the dragonborn takes off his mask and his hood, you all turn your attention to the smaller figure next to them, uh, who reveals themselves as. A drow, a dark elf. Woo. Uh, and anyone who passed the perception check, which will be... I have a 12, again, uh, not a 10. So... Uh, basically just J. What did... No, wait, what did Zoe get? 13. Okay, yeah, so just J. You, as the drow pulls her mask down, you notice a little, little silver embroidered raven, on, on a on a part of the mask. Mm. Okay, um, and they introduce themselves. The dragonborn says, "My name is Gaffis, Gaffis Kelseth," and the sorry. The the drow says, "My name is Vornala, Vornala Saren. We are with the Ravensfold Assassins Guild, and we've been <laughs> looking into these cultists recently. So Assassin's you know, that's, Assassin's Guild, that's eh? like a thieves guild thing. Uh, I've been reading up on that. Actually, I might should learn a secret language. They finally uh, first they they operate in um, your home country. So you will have heard of the Ravensfold Assassins Guild. And uh, I also speak thieves Cantonese. So if they use that, as because I think it's the criminal all criminal guilds use thieves Cant as well. Some stuff I can. Uh, speak that sort of. I don't if think anyone else not... wants to give me a history check or something to yeah, see if they know say. who 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 the guild is. Al doesn't oh, know shit, sure. but I know who, me and Zero know them very well. Oh, I know exactly who that was. <laughs> yeah. I would like to do a history check. Oh, sure. <laughs> oh, like... uh, but I would definitely know them, right? I'm rolling horribly today. Out of character, I'm very excited to see these two <laughs> in character. <laughs> Completely clueless. <laughs> I'm back. Raven Guild is fun. Uh, Raven Guild of Assassins. Why are you doing so far down south? I thought you mainly operate at, you know, more north. Well, we've been looking into the We've been Think we trying to find time. any clues we can to see if we can find their their base or or just stop this from happening because they are causing destruction up and down the continent. We might have a clue as to where their base is, although we're not 100% certain, which is why we didn't pursue that lead and we ended up smashing that crystal, so probably not a wasted effort anyway. But... Uh, if you have a map, I could probably circle what we have on our map uh, as what we suspect their base is. Hmm. If... Well, let's not talk here. Let's find a building that hasn't... Can I signal him in, in Thieves Khan that I can talk uh, in Thieves Khan? I think a sat... What do you know it? Uh... Well, 
because I think assassins are part of the of like a criminal guilds normally, so they might. They will can probably I, know it, yeah, but it's. Can I signal I can speak it if that's more to their comfort? I think it takes four times as long, and it's just a bunch of gibberish. <laughs> and you know, I think that's literally how it works. Uh, you just put words in your sentence that don't fit in like the right spot, and then I think that's how it's done. Mm. And you pick this mm -hmm. up and you form a sentence, but that's why it takes four times as long to speak as any other language. Okay, well, they <laughs> they acknowledge that you can speak it. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> I want to impress them because they got such cool leather jackets, so they must be cool characters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are basically wearing, like, fully black shrouded assassin leather armor. Like a nine gill armor from Skyrim. Yeah, yes. pretty much. Cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd quite like to do um, maybe like a an insight check to see, basically, if I can have a look at the, have a look around, sort of see like you know the pattern of the burning, see if I can kind of find the direction for us to head, maybe somewhere somewhere undamaged. Okay. Try to like find somewhere where the destruction isn't so much. Seventeen. Nice. Yeah, you uh you see basically you came into the village from sort of the southeast, which is also where the attack started from. So the further northwest you go, you you manage to find like a, a sort of abandoned house uh, on the edge of the village. I I lean into yeah, I lean into the uh the I spot I spot it. Just through in between a couple of uh, slightly less damaged buildings, I lean into the the assassins and the rest of the gang. Say, so, uh, Javion, might be a pleasure to make your your acquaintance. I, I have a little bit of experience with burned buildings, and uh, it appears to me that that's probably our best bet for a for a little conflap. They, uh, it seems safe enough. I'll agree. They they both sort of give a little eyebrow raise at your. Your demeanor, my <laughs> foppish ways. Just, uh, just yeah, but, but they they find it also like sort of amusing. So they're like, okay, we're gonna we'll we'll go to this building. Yes, That's a and I, I would say what I, I see there. I see their little. I spot their little kind of bit of you know skepticism, and I go, yeah. And as soon as you haven't been formally introduced, uh, this is my uh, this is my uh, compatriot uh, Lobato. Say hello, Lobato. Greetings. And uh, and this is dog one and dog two. I oh, know maybe it's just dog one. I think one of them died, but I think the other one's okay. <laughs> but they're uh, mean-looking dogs, and I'm hoping that sort of balances it out a little bit. Yeah, on the edge of death. Uh, they yeah they they sort of acknowledge this hulking tower of metal and this sort of like <laughs> ravenous dog. <laughs> And they're like, okay, maybe this guy means a bit more business than we thought he did. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I feel like I'd respond to that, but, it, you know, would Frost have the insight of these thoughts going through their head? Probably not. They're pretty, they're usually pretty inscrutable, but that, the the outburst of Javiel's sort of gave them away a bit. <laughs> okay. Mm, yeah, but like the oh, maybe he means more business. I wouldn't be able to to look into that. What I'm an insight. You could, Scrutinize. You could do an insight check. It's gonna have a high DC. Uh, no, I'm not gonna read it then. <laughs> no. I don't think I will. <coughs> that is a four plus seven, which is still uh, all right, I guess. But uh, it's not gonna be the high DC. Well, yeah, DC. Uh, so what are you gonna do? You're all sort of outside this this abandoned looking building. Follow well, Jay, but I'm also looking at the let's, let's get this wagon off the road and find somewhere we can uh, talk more civilly. Right. Are you gonna pull up the Alberto, wagon? Saddle up. <laughs> Preferably not next to something that's on fire. <laughs> Come on, dog. And that drooling mastiff jumps in the back of the wagon as well. <laughs> okay, so you'll make your way over yeah. uh, to a sort of safe 
ish looking part of the, the the village that you're in. Did we see any survivors while going to the safe part? You see um a lot of sort of like tattered clothes where zombies have clearly exploded. Uh there's not really any sign of survivors out in the streets. Nothing then. Continue. Um, while we're while we're traveling, this is you know a few hundred yards to the the building. I'm going to just uh, sort of lean into because I'm, presu I'm presuming they're on foot and we're in the wagon. I'm going to lean into Kindness and go. Seeing how these uh, our new acquaintances dealt with the the local infected population, what I advise it might be uh, in our interest to keep our little problem to ourselves for the time being, old chap. Yeah, don't want them any reason to be set off. No, not seeing as we better so famously. And uh, I, didn't, I don't know whether you saw the uh, the big chap. Yeah. Yeah. It seemed like they can handle the sum pretty well. They'd be good allies. Especially once we actually go over to the actual base. See what we can do. But also, tread with caution. These, they are assassins, and I'm not quite sure what their intentions are yet. And uh, I don't mean to cast aspersions, but uh, obviously I am part elf, and uh, well, us and the drow haven't always got on very well. Really? Can we hear this as well, by the way, or is it just you two? We're just having a little quiet power hour right now. Just us. Well, but if they're assassins, then hopefully they'll be business people. And, uh, one would assume that an assassin's guild would normally be paid for that kind of work, no? Yeah, got Even somebody if, uh, else. Got somebody else who offered that job for sure. So even if, uh, yeah, it's definitely worth keeping these people on side, if only to find out who this, uh, who this wealthy benefactor might be. Powwow complete. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pearl spent that entire time trying to gain the favor of the Mastiff. <laughs> Just so you know. Yeah, no, no, I figured that. Much. Yeah. What? What's your? Uh, can you do it animal handling? <laughs> oh god, that's not going to go very well. Uh, <sighs> Nat one <he> dies. <laughs> no, Nat one would be me getting bitten, probably. <laughs> well, this case scenario, but already oh, very much. Oh, that's a four. <laughs> the you're you're trying to like calm it down, but it's just jumping all over you, licking your face. Oh, I was, I'm I was okay gonna with say, is <laughs> is it's not listening to you. It's sort of just like jumping and like <laughs> being really sort of like she's just like laying down in in the wagon, just like no, please, please. J oh my god, I know, oh. I know, I taste like a water bowl, but please. Get off her! Hey, help. Get off her now! D down! Down here! Stop it! While Jane is uh, with with, with not a not even a hint of jealousy in my voice. <laughs> She's just gonna kind of like run her hands over her face where it licked her and just be like, "Well, at least I was already wet." <laughs> uh, Zero and Jay were having their conversation. I will have just gone to the assassins uh, that I might. I could have admired as a child, like, oh, cool, I, just not what they were doing. I was too young to understand with cool outfits, right? I mean, yeah, so you, like, growing up in Alteria, you probably would have heard stories about their guild and, like, how badass and cool they were. and like. They yeah, it's just... concerning to admire assassins, though, but I probably would still have admired them somewhat. Well, it's, it's just, like, you know, legends of, like, cool yeah, yeah, yeah. people coming in and just doing cool yeah, shit. Yeah, I'll just... I'll just go to them like, oh, you guys were you, you guys are legends where I'm from. So yeah, I couldn't couldn't 
there's like a problem I have up north again. Uh, I can't possibly hire you to help us with that job. Can I? Like, I don't know what the normal rates are on these, given how it, how hard it is to contact your guild. It gives you the whole legendary status and all. Uh, but I got a fair amount of gold on me, so, you know. You would have to talk to wanna... the master of the guild. Is there to... any way I can find him? Because as I said, it's hard contacting even a member already. Well, I we'll... assume my dad might have been able to do it, but, well, yeah, that's a whole different story. Uh, we'll see what happens. You might be able to meet him. Nice. Very nice. I've got to tell you now, face out of character, I would have offered them like 200 gold just to come with us to Alteria. <laughs> <laughs> just, as, just as companions. You guys eventually um, wind up basically. You, know, you found a little spot to park the wagon. Seems relatively safe. There's an abandoned building that looks, looks like you can go in here and talk. What are you going to do? Uh, Actually, one of you, one of you roll me a d4. Shall I? Go for it. Four, yeah. A uh, three. Okay. Good, good job. Maybe. I don't know if high's good or high's bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold the praise. Yeah, I was going to say. It's totally good. Average, good job or... God damn it, Frost. Yeah, you were trapped <laughs> in this <laughs> collapsed <laughs> building for three days. Yeah. <laughs> three there, days. Oh, I thought three years. You just died. There were four viable-looking buildings for you to just walk into. Frost them decides this one. We're going to this one. Yeah. Um, Doesn't sound too bad. How are you approaching this 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 building? Uh, I will oh. drive my sword carefully in case there's zombies inside, uh, and just slowly approach. Right? Okay. I feel like that's not too bad of a plan, and just go inside, see if there's survivors, zombies, whatever have you. You open the door. It's pretty dark in there. The only sort of light is coming through a couple of holes in the roof. Uh, you don't see anything. Can I listen? You can. I, like, what's your passive perception? My passive perception is 24. The the room seems pretty safe. Okay. It's very cool. Uh, in that case, I'll just... Uh, probably spark a fire, I guess, inside. Make a, make a little thing. There is a fire pit in the room. Uh, the, yeah, and I, have, I think I have a tinder box. In. You can start a fire. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's in the uh, explorer's bag, so I can just make fires. Yeah, you light uh, up a little fire. Everyone sort of tentatively looks in and starts filing <laughs> into the building. Um, once you've all got settled and you're in, the uh, the dragonborn was his name, Gaffis. Uh, this is Kelsef. Yeah. <clears throat> turns to you and says, so tell us what you know about these cultists. Turns to me, to us. To all of you. Well, obviously we'd be happy to, to share what information we have. These these cultists are clearly a scourge across the uh, the, the entire countryside, but uh, you know, this is, I would presume, going to be a two-way exchange and you <laughs> must have information that you can share with us as well. We will tell you what we know. But we must hear from you first. And uh, I've heard across villages throughout our journey here that they've uh, become more and more common across the countryside. They uh, they had uh, raised 
a uh, the uh, the village of the village of Peldham. Uh, we came across their uh, their leader, uh, who'd unfortunately been infected with the same spores that you these poor souls appear to have been infected with. Um, and from there, we uh, we headed uh, north towards Deruven. And that's when we came across the uh, two more cultists, accompanied by some burly chap and uh, a load more zombies. They were attempting to drive a purple crystal into the ground for who knows what purpose. But uh, I'm Just something of a, something of a magic enthusiast myself, and uh, from what I can tell, the, uh, the the power of this crystal seemed to be somehow connected to the necromantic necromancy uh, shenanigans going on. With these, this, these nefarious characters. And that must have struck us Achilles' heel, because when we entered those cultists that were protecting Set Crystal, the, uh, I took a swing at it, and it just disintegrated. Well, I so, so that's equally my power as well as the, the unstable energy contained within. But uh, when this guy was driving into the ground with a hammer, it didn't seem so fragile. So. I, 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 I try and... Con I try and mask my slight eye roll at that low key flex that Frost just tried to <laughs> deliver. I'm meaning like it's, idols it's from my childhood, right? So it's Frost is just pure excitement. And I say, uh, sadly, the uh, the leader the leader escaped through a portal before we could uh, capture him and, and question him for more information. But uh, I feel like that's a, a a a good opener, wouldn't you agree? Uh, now, how about you? Mm. Yeah, we've we've seen these crystals. Unfortunately, we've not been able to stop any of them from being activated. But if you say you you destroyed one, then maybe maybe we could help each other. It took me two hits though. It broke my first sword, and then I used the old trusty one, and then that did the job. As you can expect. He's very strong. Well, the sword breaking was probably the lightning and the, the cultists and the... Oh, no, the guy with the hammer blocked it, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Well, I can share with you that uh, if, you, if, you can, if you've come up against another one of these crystals in future, um, I would recommend doing your utmost to, to slow the, the process of driving it into the ground. That seemed to uh, disrupt their plans long enough for us to get the upper hand. Yeah, we, we threw... What did you throw in front of it again? That stopped it, or slowed it down? I used an immovable rod. Hmm. We'll keep but, that in mind. Just be aware that uh, whatever ritual they were carrying out does uh, create some, uh, some energetic outbursts. Um, so do take care on approach. Yeah, I think it was some weird rocks emerged from the ground, and then lightning uh, started arcing between said rocks and uh, shocking us while entering and also while inside the field. Yes, my geological antenna. Do you know that word, antenna? Lobota, show them your antenna. <laughs> yes, we, we've seen the ritual. The RS La Coil, whatever it was. But we didn't think there was any way to stop it. Where have you seen these uh, rituals taking place? Perhaps there's some sort of pattern. We've come down from from Fundahar, the, the next country up, and it seems to be happening all around, spreading out from the mountains. I don't want to show them my region map just yet because I don't trust them just yet. So what I want to do is either get some... Just some, you know, some sort of writing implements out of my uh, out of my bag. Yeah, I'm absolutely certain I would have them. But if I don't, I'm just going to try and get a scoop of uh, scoop of ash, either from because there's got to be like plenty of ash around. We've got fire going, and kind of scatter it on the floor. And so, like, can you just show show us where you know where you've where you've come across these rituals? You know, basically uh, oh, encour sure, encouraging yeah. them to sort of put put. Put some sort of, you know, the back of a beer mat sketch of... While we're at it, we can draw the point where we think their real base is uh, 
Again, just a suspicion. Uh, not, we don't know for certain. Yeah, we'll give him. We'll give him that can, much. We can exchange data, right? We yeah, tell we give the locations we know, and you tell us locations you know. Although I assume you cleared out some of those. Not, we only cleared out a couple. Just be a... They basically. There were these vultures, long story. With the ash on the floor, they get a stick and they basically draw a line, and say, "This is where the mountains are." And then they mm-hmm. poke a load of dots, basically all around, emanating from the mountains towards uh, the coast, uh, going from like basically everywhere north of where you've been so far. Um, it hasn't quite all reached the coast yet, but there's a lot of places being attacked by these things. They've managed to, they say they've managed to save a lot of villages from being completely run over um, and destroyed. A map uh, with locations they planned on attacking, so can... we can compare cross-reference. Well, yeah, I'm not, not giving that away just yet. Can no, I... no, no, I'm not giving it away, but we can, like, share the data. Yeah, yeah, that, that, might be, that might be next, but uh, and the fact that they've been saving villages is sort of winning me round. Um, but, um, is it, look at this kind of, you know, like, rough map uh aside from a sort of a general flow from east to west like the opening credits of dad's army do i can i discern any 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 uh any more of a pattern aside from just a just a sort of a steady wave from the mountains of madness is towards the coast yeah the, that seems to be the only pattern is they uh, trying to get everywhere uh, and just sort of spread out as much as possible. You reckon they're trying to rupture the lands themselves by make, forming cracks along the... well, among the land? Hard to say. It certainly looks like a... Uh... Like just this is certainly, a, this is certainly a war of war of territory and invasion. Well, that for sure. Or maybe it's like a, a wall they can construct using those crystals, and then they have would have the entire land like their line up north and our line here in the south would just mark their this entire like mist land if you want to call it that with the, the red haze constantly here as their own base i was gonna say if we just if if we, can I, i'm just gonna ask them can you just sorry just you said you'd come across these crystal rituals can you just show me exactly where you've seen these crystals i'm presuming the, the what you're showing me here is the villages that you've where you've come across them, but just the crystals. Uh, yeah, they poke a few more dots in in the ash. There's definitely not as many, mm-hmm. um, but they're sort of yeah, just dotted around the area. You you Still would no know, pattern. yeah, you would know from looking at a map like kind of where they are. Um, but it seems like they are just. They they all seem like the same amount of distance away from each other, mm. uh, but there's no sort of pattern. They just no two are further or closer than the other one to each other. They they seem to be spaced like relays, which if they're being used to transmit and disseminate this. Uh, this necromancy, then that would make sense, I guess. I'm going to, uh, at this point, I am actually going to pull out the cultist region map. Um, obviously, it didn't have like a huge amount of detailed information on it, but it did have an awful lot of of dots and waypoints. And I'm going to sort of, uh, I will do this in the open. Didn't I have that map? You have to no. ask me. It's I have it in my inventory, I think. Don't you have everything in your inventory? No, no, no. I have only my stuff in the inventory, in my inventory. Okay, Frost. Um, I think it might be time to share the map with yeah, right. a new. Uh... I think. Yeah. I think you. No, you. You had a different map. I got the one from last week. You had the one from before. I had the one with like their base.
you know, or what we suspect to be the base. Mine has basically a bunch of dots that also, didn't necessarily have any labeling to them. Yeah, about the but, black crystals from earlier, I also have two good couple of chunks of crystals. So I don't know what that's from, but I think it's the black crystal from earlier. We only found crystal. three pieces of black crystal and zero and has two... so it must be a different kind of crystal. No, I think it's just valuable crystal, or I, that I presume to be valuable crystals then. That sounds like a frost move. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in a little bit of... Uh, in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the mat out. Okay. Lomato, can I borrow you for a second, old chap? Lomato hisses his way over. And I'm, I'm just going to take the map and just, just kind of over, go over it a little bit. With just some little dabs of ash. And they go, uh, obviously this is not to scale, but Lamotte, wouldn't you be so kind as to uh, uh, just just bring your face beam down here for a moment? Mm -hmm. And he, uh, he, he positions himself over the map. I hold it up, and uh, a light just goes <laughs> out of his face. And I kind of use the map, almost like an overhead projector, to like overlay the yeah. map onto the, uh, the ash map. In one of the, it's a little bit like the projection... From the, from the TV monitors onto the raptor's face in Jurassic Park. That would never happen, but it looks really cool in the movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I've just done that, basically. Okay, you've got basically like a 3D R2-D2 map. Um... <laughs> I mean, it's just a 2D overlay. It's fine, like an overhead projector. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, just, you know. Uh, yeah. Onto the floor. It takes you a few minutes, but you've okay. basically got the more southern part of the map from where they they are so your map isn't theirs extends mm. off to the north of where yours stops gotcha yeah okay um so but it continues the pattern down i'm i would we have a complete guess. map together then or... yeah you, you you can see that some of the dots on your map line up with the, their dots and then the other ones are presumably just sort of villages they've been to. Well, I hate to say it, folks. I, I think we uh, appear to have an invasion map here. Well, I like to say, I don't hate to say it, because it's a good thing that we have the map. Imagine if we didn't have it, it would be much worse, wouldn't it? Well, certainly not never uh, averse to having more information. Exactly. And now we have even more information. And our... Can I call you friends? And there's like a little, like a hopeful tone in his voice. I'm like, uh, and our Any friends have more information as well. Any chance of a selfie? Then! <laughs> I'll get your autograph. And I just pull out, a, and then secretly just the contract. It's like the two white, like two sheets. And I have like a hole in the first sheet. It just looks like a blank canvas. I'm like, hey, just over here. And they just sign a contract. Uh, yeah, but... They look at your sort of projected map and they they start sort of mumbling to each other and agreeing. And one of them says, yeah, this has confirmed our suspicions that they're spreading as, as far as possible. Yeah. We just, well, we stop them then, safe. We just need to figure out where they're coming from, if we can cut it off at the source. Do I have a map for you, my guy? And I just pull out this <laughs> my map with the uh I have marked it as map of the southwest of the continent with cultus base. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get better descriptors for these because they get so long. Uh, yeah, a map of the site west of the continent with the cultist base on it. Okay. Uh, I'll pull that out and I say, and this, and I just aggressively put my finger on the spot and like, is where I think they're coming from. Hmm. We also got this of some, uh, no. Point well, too no, aggressively, you might rip the map. No, I point up. <laughs> not ripping it. I don't hold it. It's on on the floor on the table or whatever we have. You could, yeah, you could poke a poke a stick hard into the ash. <laughs> Tap. No, 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 I'm doing it on the physical map that I have. Okay. And the map is one sided, so even if ash comes up on the back side, it doesn't do much. Um. It, it fizzles up. <laughs> they take a look at the map, and they consider what you said when you pulled it out. 
uh, and they they think for a little bit, and then one of them says, "We should report this to the guildmaster." Now I'm quite familiar with uh, the mountain range here, but I I don't remember a safe passage here. I think so it might just be my memory. It, it tends to get hazy sometimes, like the direct mist here, but. Uh, there is no safe passage in the mountains. Yeah, no, that's uh, well. That, that was Alteria, but you know. Have you ever been there? Back we, in, we know Alteria. We've avoided it since the incident. Yeah, so I'm one of the survivors. Uh, hmm. I don't they actually know. Give but... each other a look when you say that. I said Jack Terriers. Have you never heard of James Terriers? My my dad was a legend as well. They don't respond. They don't respond. Okay, cool. Uh, if you're going to the guild master anyway, can we tag along so I can possibly hire one of you? Whoa, whoa. Oh, but I'm, I'm not talking you guys. I'm just talking back guys. But it always helps to have... I want to see my heroes at work. Well, speaking of contracts... Your guild. What exactly were you guys asked with doing with these cultists? It's the end goal for you guys. As soon as everyone dies, there's less business for assassins. Less contractors and less people to kill. I don't remember asking you, Frost. I'm asking them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just standing these, these assassins like... We cannot reveal the details of our work. So well, cool. I'll just I'll hold, hold on there, uh, good sir. I've... Feels as though we've been revealing an awful lot of details of our work. Now I understand you may be under contract, but uh, my my friend asked a fair question. All you need to know is that we want to stop this from happening, and we'll do anything we can to stop it. On that, we can agree. Mm -hmm. Are you interested in alliance with us? Help go to the center of their suspected uh, home base. Excuse me. Tonight. We must report to the Guildmaster before we can take any further action. If you are willing to come with us, we can take you to him. Gladly. Well, obviously, I'd have to consult with at least two of my colleagues, but uh, that might be that might be workable. I'm Not just gonna. I'm idea. gonna just. I'm gonna look at. I'm gonna. I'm gonna look at Frost as like. Do we involve him in this powwow? And I can see you're already like packing like your bag. Stars in my, there's stars in my eyes. Like, oh, yeah, oh. it's like. Guys, okay. Just go off with the other two for a second. I had a fucked up childhood, to be fair, as, as a <laughs> character as well. So admiring <laughs> assassins isn't too far down the rabbit hole. <laughs> you see, you, sh you shouldn't have said my character at any point because I, in my head, as we're walking away to the other corner of the room, I just hear you tailing off. Going, I had a fucked up childhood, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> you just done it. This is the conversation we just hear fading out as we wander into the corner of the room. <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> Not this time. Maybe another time. <laughs> well, what do we think, guys? I mean, I, I think it's fair to say that's one vote for go. But what do you think? Well, I mean, if they had any ill intentions, they certainly wouldn't have waited. Sure that an assassins aren't keen on playing the long game. Um, I suppose not. I do know it's not a bad idea as we may need more forces than just us to take this base out. Because if you recall that it might help us get around the king's armies. As bar well. Barbarian got away. I'm not 100% sure if he is going to inform them of our interference. They will be on guard. We will not have the element of surprise. 
unless Surprise is joining with this Thieves' Guild. And they know our capabilities as they stand. So, I had... There is something else I should probably tell you. When you were uh, incapacitated by the crystal, I uh, had what I can only describe as a... a vision. And, uh... I don't want to go into too many details here, but, uh... It didn't look good. And, uh... It might get complicated, and that's all I really want to say right now. So I'm all for having as much... Throwing as much help and resources at it as we can. If you think we can trust them. What Was it a premonition, or... Just things happening now I don't know there wasn't really any way to tell but I think I saw the other side of that portal and uh well I'm just not sure as as a group we're necessarily prepared yeah on that we can agree better to err on caution wouldn't fully go in trusting these guys yet, but as of right now, I, I feel like it's the only choice we got. Pearl, what do you say? I think they seem nice. Yeah. I don't think... Okay. <laughs> well, I guess that's... We decided then. It's unanimous. Oh, you just appear. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah, no, you, you'll be glad to know we're going to take up them up on their offer, but, but Frost. Yeah. Just, I know you're excited, but don't, don't lose yourself. Remember, you're part, of, you're part of the party, and we don't know these guys yet. But I know the guilt. They wouldn't kill without reason to. But they're not exactly Bernardos either, are they? <laughs> mm -hmm. Debatable, I suppose. You know, most of, I, I imagine all the stories you've heard about them being really impressive. How impressively they'd cut people's heads off. Yeah, well, you know well, that. That's okay? what I'm saying. Case, right? I'm not saying we killed a lot of people, but some people got executed. Well, look, we've also, we've also made a good handful of enemies along our journey don't know if they know more about this guild than we do. And they won't yeah, tell us. A couple things. Things. I've been reading up on them a bit. But I suppose legend, you know, isn't really translated well in books because it might all be fiction. So, I, think what, I think what I think what JVL's trying to say is won't show our full hand yet. You understand? Yeah, no, that's fair. That's fair. That's exactly. fair. Excited to meet these guys, but don't fully have full understanding of what they're going to intend to help us with. If they will help us at all. Yeah. Just remember, we didn't come this far by being rash and careless. But there's one good thing to know about these guys. <laughs> that is that money does talk. And I have to have uh, a couple of coins spare. Which should at least get us out of really bad reputation. Well, let's consider that a last resort. I'd quite oh, yeah, like to spend my yeah. money on some new stuff, not just keeping my head. Let's I buy a whip, I'd... actually. I don't want to. I don't want to try and um, yuck your yum. But as someone whose job it is to um, embellish and exaggerate stories, a lot of them have a lot of fiction in them, and history is written by the victors. That is true. Yeah. They do seem nice, but just be cautious. Okay. Right. Well, let's do this. I mean, we're sort of wander back over to them, not, not looking, you know, too keen. Playing it cool, Trig. Like a... Because my eyes are still filled with stars. <laughs> well, uh, my colleagues... My colleagues and I have just discussed this, and... Uh, 
We think seeing as uh, there are still so many un unknowns in this situation that we'd be best pooling our resources. Uh, if you'd be so kind as to show us the way to your to your guild hall, then we'd be honoured to have an audience with your with your guildmaster. And before they reply, we're going to go for a little five minute break. Lovely. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> welcome in everybody that I haven't said welcome to uh, while we've been yeah. playing. Sorry, we're in we're in game mode. It's very difficult for me to switch from gaming and <laughs> then just DMing uh, is hard. Yeah, there's a it lot is, going yeah. on in my head. Um, <clears throat> but welcome in everybody. Uh, thank you for the subs and the, and, and the stuff like that. Uh, very much appreciated. Uh, we're gonna go for a quick five minute break. Grab a drink. Uh, grab a snack. Uh, and we will see what the assassins from the Ravensfold Guild say when we return. We'll be right back. Hand crossbow. Uh, and it also now uses, because it's a magic item, it now uses my intelligence modifier to hit. Nice. Not, not my um, usual dexterity. Very nice. No, it can be a bit unpredictable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so let me just make sure that it's actually going to use my intelligence modifier. Yeah, and it gets plus one as well uh, to hit and to damage. And so, in theory, this should work. Here we go. Attack with, oh yeah, massive modifier. Come on. <laughs> oh no. So, so that's and a, it, it, a natural it, it, one. <laughs> oh no! Ah, what? You hit the half elf. Unbelievable. Unbelievable! Come on! You, <laughs> you whip out your crossbow. You're newly I bought. Build it up. You're newly bought. You have inspiration. Is that advantage or a new roll? A new roll. A roll. I am gonna use it. Oh, DM inspiration. <laughs> a I, twenty-one. I the idea. A the twenty-one. Person, you. you, you try and slam his head down it kind of like doesn't quite land and you're like nope try again yeah. <laughs> it's just a... it's like yeah. you uh, double whammy you grab the barman's head and you try and slam it down onto the onto the thing but he he resists and then you feel nope fuck you and you just fuck. slam you it again. Uh, and he slumps to the floor coin i'll toss a coin all right. Oh dear. Okay, let's see. I, as the coin goes into the air, I slap it clean out the air. Whatever like, it lands on. Out of that nowhere, that aggressively. That like I, 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 no hesitation. As soon as I see the coin go in the air, I go, no! <laughs> it just flies across the room. Frost what? scrambles over to the coin to pick it up. <laughs> I toss it again, and whatever it lands on, on the floor, regardless of what, if you'll slap it or not. <laughs> this time, one of Lobotto's arms telescopically <laughs> stretches from all the way up from the second floor into the door and slaps the coin out of the air. My master sent down. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll, I'll keep it. I'll keep it. Okay. Um, what are you telling me? You spent 50 coin. Something that makes your feet itch. And it. I got I'm a fiance for that, pal. <laughs> I'm 100% certain that it also does something else. I just don't know what. Again, it's it might steal my soul. A, it might steal my soul. Little, it start feet. You're a natural little little frost. There's one thing I do like about you. <laughs> and that is. It's going to be just a little wall of like silence, and he's just going to look. Close his eyes and open them. Stupid. <laughs> Whip out my wand, and with a little billow for showmanship purposes, I fire off a uh, a, a, a nice a nice gaudy pink flare into the night sky. Hoping that Frost will understand. What is the shape of this flare? Uh, well, it's it's gaudy pink. It's it's difficult to achieve any defined shapes in pyrotechnics, as I'm sure you know. It uh, <laughs> takes a lot of concentration on my part, and I have had a, a night of fine whiskey. 
but it does vaguely resemble a bell end. <laughs> 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 nice. Remind me, what is a bell end again? The end of yeah. the <laughs> <laughs> ah, right. 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 Oh, right, right. <laughs> I, I oh, was just that's clip not that. expecting that. Pure curiosity. Do you happen to have any more items that you were going to display tonight? We might be able to grab it. Generous it's... discount. A second immovable rod, perhaps? That we wouldn't buy at a discount? Give you an immovable rod. <laughs> no, no, no. No, I, uh... My gift to you is this tiny, tiny hop. Oh. <laughs> it's adorable. It's, it's the world's smallest violin. I was just it's thinking the same true. thing. <laughs> it's, yeah. No, no, I'm not giving you a sassy thing. It's, it's <laughs> Next time I have an existential crisis, that's going to come out, is it? tell people his <laughs> <laughs> you know what normally i would i would laugh along and side with you on this but i feel like after today's episode too soon yeah. <laughs> so well done what about bird bird is the word and then instead of that you say bard bard is the word yeah. <laughs> i actually really like that one Bard, bard. Oh no, because I changed it to everyone's hard about the bard, and then I realised what I was saying. <laughs> everybody's hard about the bard, the bard, bard, bard. Yeah, it's so that's not what I meant. <laughs> and it's going to be stuck in my head all night now. You've actually just whispered <laughs> your own group. Yeah, I'm debating whether I should use it. So here we go. Roll the one d two. So if it's a one, I'm going to use it because that's probably. If it's a one, I'm gonna use it. If it's a two, I'll I'll keep it for now. It's a one. We're using it. <laughs> don't, don't 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 we this. This is all you, buddy. Yeah yeah yeah. I'm, going yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in a bad way. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna heal up Jay. <laughs> what? Because I would like to have a word with the with the the ringmaster. Can I just lift the ringmaster off his feet and run with him outside? Damn, man, you never cease just to amaze. Take them up. Right. Just steal the fucking fight, the fight organizer. <laughs> steal the promoter. You're just basically scooping up Don King, that. slinging him over your shoulder in a fireman's lift and doing one. That's what you want to do. <laughs> and crossbow. Uh, and it also now uses, because it's a magic item, it now uses my intelligence modifier to hit. Nice. Not, not my um, usual dexterity. Nice. No, can be a bit unpredictable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so let me just make sure that it's actually going to use my intelligence modifier. Yeah, and it gets plus one as well uh, to hit and to damage. And so, in theory, this should work. Here we go. Attack with, oh yeah, massive modifier. Come on. <laughs> oh no. Okay. So that's and a, it, it, a natural it, one. <laughs> oh no! Oh, wow. You hit the half elf. Unbelievable. unbelievable! Come on! You, <laughs> you whip out your crossbow. Your newly I bought. Build it up. Your newly bought. You have inspiration. Is that advantage or a new roll? A new roll. A roll. I am gonna use it. Oh, DM inspiration. <laughs> a I, twenty-one. I the a the twenty-one. Person, you. you, you Try and slam his head down, it kind of like doesn't quite land, and you're like, Nope, try again. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a. It's like, what? Yeah. You, uh, the double whammy. You grab the barman's head and you try and slam it down onto the onto the thing, but he, he resists, and then you think, Nope, fuck you, and you just fuck. slam you it. Again. Uh, and he slumps to the floor. Coin. I'll toss a coin. All right. Oh dear. Okay, let's see. I, as the coin goes into the air, I slap it clean out the air. Whatever like, it lands on. Out of that, nowhere, that, aggressively. That, like I, 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 no hesitation. As soon as I see the coin go in the air, I go, no! <laughs> it just flies across the room. 
Frost what? scrambles over to the coin to pick it up. And... <laughs> I toss it again, and whatever it lands on, on the floor, regardless of what, if you'll slap it or not. <laughs> this time, one of Lobotto's arms telescopically <laughs> stretches from all the way up from the second floor into the door and slaps the coin out of the air. My master said that. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll keep it. I'll keep it. Okay. Uh, no. Oscar, are you telling me you spent 50 coin? Something that makes your feet itch. And it... I have got a fiancé for that, pal. <laughs> I'm 100% certain that it also does something else. I just don't know what. Again, it's it might steal my soul. A... It might steal my soul. Little... start at feet. You're a natural be a little optimist, wall aren't you, Frost? There's one thing I do like about you. <laughs> and that is? It's gonna, sh- it's gonna be just a little wall of, like, silence, and he's just gonna look at his eyes and open them. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Whip out my wand, and with a little billow for showmanship purposes, I fire off a, uh, a, a a nice a nice gaudy pink flare into the night sky, hoping that Frost will understand. What is the mm. shape of this flare? Uh, well, it's it's gaudy pink. It, it's it's difficult to achieve any defined shapes in pyrotechnics, as I'm sure you know. It it's, <laughs> uh, takes a lot of concentration on my part, and I have had a, a night of fine whiskey, but it does vaguely resemble a bell end. <laughs> nice. Remind me, what is a bell end again? The end of yeah! <laughs> ah, right. Right, oh, right, right, right. <laughs> I, I uh, was just that's clip not that. expecting that. Pure curiosity. Do you happen to have any more items that you were going to display tonight? We might be able to grab it. Uh, informed the assassins that they are willing to come with them to the guild. Um, Fornala, the drow, steps up and says, we should rest and recuperate for tonight and set off in the morning. It's a long journey. It's about nine days from here. Sounds wise. Um, And they... Yeah, they basically say we'll meet you guys back at this house at night uh, and we can all sort of take turns taking guard and uh, yeah, just sort of resting up, getting everything ready for a long journey. Anything you want to do while you're in town, we can do that. They're going to sort of go off and do their own thing, gather some supplies of theirs. That they that they need and sort of do a bit more snooping around. Well find survivors can. is what I would do. Try and find them anyway. And if I happen to see any loot on the way, I'll I'll gladly take the loot. But priority is finding survivors. I would like to assist in that looking for survivors. Okay, so uh, I'll I, I'm happy to accompany. Mm. Or uh, or me and me, perhaps we, we we could we could potentially. I don't know. How do you feel about potentially splitting into twos to cover more ground? Yeah. You go with uh, Lobotta then? Or should I keep Lobotta and you take Pearl? I look a little... I suddenly look a little bit, like, upset looking. I'm like, Lobotta stays with me. <laughs> <laughs> well, Zaconis is going as well, right? Um, you can all split off into whatever groups you want. Zaconis, you uh, fancy taking a look around? Yeah. Let's go see what we 
if we can find anyone. Sure. All right, who's going to go with who? Colin and you two. I think it was. I think uh, me and Zaconis are going to have a have a have a butchers. Me with Zaconis and Lobato and Pearl and Pearl and Frost. Okay. Bye, bye, me. Is that a safe, Jay? Me and. You if you run, in, if you run into, if you run into, if, I, if we run into any trouble, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll <laughs> launch, I'll you, launch, I'll, did you I'll just launch... ask if he trusts you with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, alone I, with you for five minutes, I'll fall in love. Oh it, shit! It, it, it completely. <laughs> I'll be honest. It completely, pa- it completely passed me by. It completely <laughs> passed me by. I mean, more in the sense of, uh, what if I blow does. something up again and then? Uh, yeah, I was going to say if, we, if if we run into trouble, I'll launch a firework. So if you see if you see a, a flare go up, you come running, okay? Okay, yeah. If uh, I somehow blow us up, uh, I'm sure you know where to run to. Uh, in which case, I would definitely appreciate it if you ran towards said explosion. <laughs> I'm sure we'll be fine, guys. What could go wrong? Me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on your team. Don't say things like that. <laughs> okay. I care as much for your safety as I do my own. You all head off, oh, split up out into the village. Um, let's start with Jay and Zakonis. Uh, what, so, what direction are you going to head off and set out? You're in sort of the northwest corner of the village. Uh, so from my from my nat twenty history check, I'd like to head in the direction of what I remembered being the kind of. It's only a village, but the, what passed for a commercial district. <laughs> okay. Look, Zaconis, uh, I didn't want to say anything in front of the others, but uh, obviously we're out here to look for survivors first and foremost, but just while we're poking around, you couldn't do me a favour, could you? I'm kind of looking, I'm, I'm looking for, for some sort of gem. Um... You know, I don't want to seem. I know it could, could be seen as in being in poor taste, but uh, it doesn't look like there's many, if anyone, left. And uh, you know, they won't miss one little shiny rock if we happen to come across one. So, uh, if you do spot anything like that, please do point it out to me, won't you? Yeah, I'll let you know. I don't want to be seen to be grave robbing here. I. I I mean, no. they could help us in the long run try to take down what it is to everyone. I'm sure the village themselves would have assisted with it. Right. Exactly. Yes. Yes. So, yes. If, there might, if there's, you know, if we can get a little bit of justice for these people, then they wouldn't mind me just having some of their stuff, maybe. Right? <laughs> It's not like they need it. Makes sense to me. And Keep an eye I knew I was right to, to, to go on this mission with you. <laughs> Loving, like, the the moral gymnastics that you're doing to get around <laughs> feeling bad about this. <laughs> I, I feel slightly offended that this implies <laughs> that you don't think Pearl would have been okay with this when she definitely wouldn't have given a shit. <laughs> I just Which didn't know because he's doing <laughs> song and dance, and Zakonis is like, "No, oh, yeah, sure, whatever." I mean, yeah. <laughs> Zakonis is like, I "They're not going to use it; they're dead." Uh, okay. <laughs> you got to remember, you know, the I was dead like don't a, need gold. I was, I was, a, you know, a slight, slightly drunk, but ultimately respectable store owner. Yeah. And this is <laughs> this is all out this, of this kind of behavior. <laughs> it's just, you know, this kind of behavior wouldn't have been like looked kindly upon by the local community. <laughs> I'm still not fully adjusted. Okay. The ways of the road, I'm still learning them, you know. So if you give me a perception check. Okay. Yeah. That's a 20. I, I, no. Get it with advantage, because that'd be really good. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately not. It always upsets me when you ask me for a skill roll and I haven't had a chance to say it and obviously I cast guidance on myself. I, I'm always going to get that in if any time I feel like there might be one coming. Uh, was Guys a country or was it? It is, yeah. 
Yeah, okay. Zero, Zaconis is, is sort of having a bit of trouble seeing through the haze still. Uh, maybe his eyes haven't quite adjusted as well as yours. Um, you are half elf. Okay. You've got some, a decent set of eyes on you. Mm-hmm. Um, you just, and ears. Yeah. Don't. <laughs> no, no. Sometimes oh. I forget to cast guidance on myself. Um, <laughs> but you, through through the haze, you manage to see a little glint, and you hear in your head a little ting <laughs> as you see the glint. <laughs> <gasps> I scurry over to to the glint and start digging through some some uh, some ashy rubble to uncover whatever it is. Uh, yeah, you dig around and you've uncovered, it is <clears throat> sort of like an egg-sized heart, it's like half an egg cut up, like, all ways, I guess. Okay. Um, it's basically that sort of size and it's, it's like an amber gem. This is, oh. Oh yeah, this is this is perfect. Oh, this is oh, this is great. This is look look look, Zaconis. And then I catch myself, and I do like I make the sign of puck, like kind of somewhat guiltily, over the over the rubble. I'll do the old bit of, bit of this. As I don't care if Zaconis doesn't tell me about the uh, about the the gem. I want him to tell me about the puck. <laughs> <laughs> You're not here. <laughs> As you finish making the puck gesture, you hear Did you Is is someone there? It's going come, come on, get over here. Give, give me an Loboto. Oh my word. That was crazy, crazy noise over comms. The bottom. Yeah, I think it was. Are, are we, where's where's this sound coming from? Is it from under the rubble? It's from somewhere close around. You're you're sort of in between buildings at the minute, and it's it's somewhere close around. I just I just heard a voice. I, there might, might be a survivor. Quick, quick, search search around. See what you can find. Listen again. Stop shit. Yeah. Nice. Twenty four. Uh, you listen around for the voice and sort of start looking around and you hear it. Uh, and you look around and you see half a body, the top half of a body, and it's a guy crawling towards you over some rubble. As he places his hand on the top of a pile of rubble, you see... He has a spore that hasn't spread, um, but he doesn't have any legs, so this guy's probably not going to make it. Um, but yeah, he has a spore in his hand that hasn't turned him. Zaconis, do you, do you see? Do. Just... He and looks in bad shape, but... Notice the mark. We've we've got to help him. We're probably the only ones who can. He, you okay there? I'm just going to start slowly moving towards him, but keeping <laughs> relatively even safe. Zirconis, even Zirconis, even Zirconis is going to give him that like. He's <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, ju- you don't get a manner. response. You just <laughs> he's just sort of like raggedly, very heavily breathing. It sounds uh, like. Trying to uh, hold on to life. <laughs> he has he has no legs, I'm presuming, because they've been removed by some sort of building collapse. Uh, yeah, there yeah. is sort of insides not where they should be. I'm going to take a deep breath and uh, just r- run over there. I'm going to just quickly get out um, uh, a length of hemp and rope and start sort of trying to uh, apply a tourniquet to his legs. Just kind of see if you can see if you can stem the bleeding. Put some pressure on it. 
I mean, you, you, to his, you can't to his see his chest. legs. Yeah, you, you can't. Yeah, no, I'm, no, I'm, I'm, t- I'm tying, I'm tying off his stumps, and I'm, I'm gesturing to Sigonis to put some pressure on his chest cavity. <laughs> uh, you give me a medicine check. Oh no. Okay. Give that as well, since I'm 17. helping. Seventeen. I really thought you were going to get a nat one then. And just, and then, and just like, so your hands are going to go into his chest like the thing. <laughs> uh, the You guys start trying trying to save this guy's life. He doesn't seem to be reacting to you guys, like, touching him and, like, wrapping stuff around him. Um, but after after a few minutes of you guys sort of trying desperately anything you can, he eventually stops making noise and stops moving. I guess we were too late. Just didn't, interestingly enough though, spores aren't spreading. Yeah, I noticed that. Wish we could have figured out connection. Maybe he got infected close to the end? If that's true, that means they're still around. Um, uh, I mean, check his pockets? <laughs> Did you just... For clues. For clues. Right. Um... Well, inspect, do, do we notice like the race he is or anything? If that has anything to do with anything at all? Yeah, what is, what's his clothing like? He <laughs> looks like a normal sort of human villager. Um, nothing special about him. Boys clothing. <laughs> Did you see where he came from? No, just from over in the rubble area. I want to go and investigate the, the the building that he sort of was dragging himself from the the wreckage of. Uh, yeah, you follow a, a trail of intestine back to the point of our, um, <laughs> and you see the uh, sort of crushed part of his his sort of like just above where his butt starts is like where it's like been ripped off of his body. Uh, oh, under some... I, I think I found his legs. I'm going to uh, just. I'm just going to uh, as much far as I can, just sort of try and just pull over some timbers and just sort of try and clear some rubble, just to see the, what what building is in. You know, whether there's any in- environmental reason for his. Potentially immunity or uh, protection. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can search the rubble around. It just seems like he was in a normal house, uh, and his house got burnt down and fell on top of him. That's as much as you can deduce mm. from the situation. Okay. Well, look. Do you have any more of those? Do you have any more of those files? Maybe get a blood sample. Maybe something to do with that. Good idea. I'm going to uh, do exactly that and uh, take it for comparative research purposes. Okay. That's a good idea. So you're going to, what, drain some of his blood into... Uh, when you fill up the vials, there is a sort of green tint to the blood. Interesting. Not exactly normal. No. And quite strange, even by our standards. Right? That's saying something. I'm going to need to take a closer look at this. Definitely. Let's uh, let's finish off our sweep and see if uh, we can find anybody else. Hopefully, with a little bit more 
time on the clock than this poor chap. Indeed. Okay, you guys continue your search, and then we're going to flip over. We're going to join Frost and Pearl, uh, who sort of went in an, in an opposite direction to you guys to cover as much ground as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, what are you guys doing? What are you, what are you saying? Um, uh, looking for survivors. Looking for survivors. And yeah, well, i not so concerned with money, more concerned with trying to find maybe if there's any like flasks of just like water or just any drink but mainly water um okay. because we're in such a dry environment looking for supplies like yeah mainly looking for survivors but if we happen across any libation that would also be very helpful okay any any conversations you want to have with each other while you're searching? Do you reckon they found any survivors? I'm not sure if there's. I hope there. so. I, I I mean, I hope at least one of us finds someone. It would be really sad to think of this entire town of people just dying. Did you remember where those? Uh, assassins went, like, were they sane? I know they went off to do their own thing, but they didn't specify it, though. Uh, honestly, I wasn't really paying attention. I kind of keep getting distracted by the dog. Yeah, I should with the... Probably a step back was definitely a good choice. Uh, I'm really curious what they are doing. You know, maybe Jay's got a point. Uh, we do not know what they're after. And I don't I know a lot about know assassin guilds, but I... normally, normally they didn't come they this just... far south as well. That's the thing. Like Jay probably has a point. That mm. They must be looking for something here. Maybe, or maybe there are just then maybe there's just such a path of destruction left behind that yeah. there's not a lot of other people to help. Yeah, it's probably as roots, I guess. Yeah, that could be true. I will have to remain on guard. Everyone is secretly evil, Frost. Here. Use what? Not everyone is secretly evil. And that's what I thought. And we just, uh... I assume we just look further for more alive people, maybe? Yeah. Hopefully we'll find someone. Or dead people, and I'll steal their money. <laughs> well, um... <laughs> that's all you, buddy. Both of you give me a, a perception check. They don't have no needs for coins. That's a 22, baby. Uh, six. Mm. Bro, when I get an ability score improvement next, I need to improve my fucking wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't Damn. guess it, but I have maxed out wisdom. I'm really low intelligence. The only reason I don't have a minus one is because I have, um, uh, jack of all trades. Uh, that's like proficiency in everything with half, half proficiency, proficiency in everything I'm not proficient in. Yeah, that's the only reason I don't have a minus can one. You get <laughs> she you really is you? just oblivious. <laughs> Could you get expertise in a skill that you have a jack of all trades in, but not a normal proficiency? Uh, yes. Oh, nice. Because so... jack of all trades is just everything you're not proficient in. Yeah, yeah. Expertise is yeah, like... but expertise only in things you are already proficient in. But I guess check out three things. Nah, it doesn't matter. With... But yeah, do yeah, they don't them? clash. With a twenty-two, uh, Frost, you hear quietly at first, but gradually getting louder and louder. Uh, what you assume is the giant wings of vultures. Descending towards your your area. I assume a measly hunting trap will not help with the vultures. <laughs> uh, do you hear that, Pearl? I think it's our uh, dinner guest. I don't know what I call it. The big birds. I don't. I don't hear anything. I think it's the biggest birds coming at us. Oh, <laughs> the vultures. Oh, oh I'm unsure. 
Yeah, yeah. Exactly well, I'm, there are a lot of dead people around. This is probably oh, yeah, that, a, is a great they feeding ground for them. Um, you know, something just crossed my mind. Mm -hmm. uh, that neither you nor me have any signs of infection at all. So yep. we can't do the old trick from, oh, yeah, so you were still infected. Hmm. Uh, uh, I hmm. do have a disguise kit in my bag. I could maybe try and mimic what the spores look like so that we look and... Oh, but maybe they'll be able to sense yeah, it. They could taste it, right? They taste yeah. it in their arms. Yeah, yeah, it won't work. Uh, well, uh... Wish I had that note of sending still. I could at least signal Jaden, but no. Uh, I guess we just hope for the I, best. And if, you know, uh, I think I might be able to do something about that. And you want the ash that I still kept in case it magically reappeared again? I I, I think I might be able to send them a message. Ah. Shame. I want that message back. I thought it was like a safe area back then because I could cast my other spells, but then the note of sending was too much apparently, and then he burned it. I, I picked spell. up sending on my level up. Nice. Ooh, nice, nice. <laughs> <laughs> I had one well, spell I could gain, uh, and that was well, what I picked. <laughs> let, let's see if it goes well first. Okay. Then... Uh, what? What would? Okay. What shall I tell them? I get up to twenty-five words. Well, let's wait with telling them anything until we have determined that the birds are in fact hostile. Well, wouldn't it be better to warn them just in case, rather than when it's too late and they're already attacking us? You could say, uh, "Vultures are back." Uh, come assist, I suppose. Hmm. But don't don't act hastily. That's that's within twenty five words, and it means that I don't have to immediately shoot. Just have to. What just about just group, vultures are guard? About vultures are back. Be on guard. Yeah. Oh yeah. But then they won't necessarily come to help us. What's well, I'm it? sure they'll hear if a fight breaks out. We discussed uh, sound signals. Yeah, yeah, that is true, guys. Okay, I'll we'll do that then. Yeah, I guess. Okay. Shall I just take the word with the birds again? As you guys are chatting, birds land. No, that's the wrong. That's the wrong thing. One I'm of them lands to... on a on top of a burnt building behind you, sitting on what can only be the only sturdy part of the building left. Uh, and the, <laughs> the other one lands directly on the road in front of you. Are we uh, like in a pincer, uh, being uh, one in the back, one in the front, or...? Yeah, one is, a, one is above and behind you, one is directly in front of you. Okay. Uh, That's super convenient. Uh, can I send my, my sending? Yeah. That's a mental thing, right? Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, she's gonna send a message to Javiel to say, uh, the vultures are back. Um. Oh, fuck. They've flanked us. Be on. Unsure of their intentions. Be on guard. Okay. It's probably twenty-five words. That was like fourteen words. Out of character, I have I have a strong urge to just open the conversation with "What up, my flying friends." <laughs> <laughs> But I think it's better if I don't. Well, they don't attack you straight away. They, one, the one in front of you lowers its head, giant head, to like in between you to look at both of you. Okay, guess I'll try and speak with it again. Okay. Uh, hello. Have you, uh, are you, you casting speak with animals? Yeah, as my free speaker of the day, right? Because we had a, I assume we had a long rest game to this village at some point. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, you, so I, you haven't used it today yet. No, no, no. no. Um, oh, yeah, it's a daily thing actually. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so yeah, I got one free, and then I can cast it three additional times, but it will cost me spell slots. Okay. So uh, I will do the free time and uh, say hello. Uh, we smashed the crystal, but I don't think they've gone, like the zombies have completely died out. Yes, we saw the you master 
has requested you at the nest. The... Uh. I know. Uh, do you mind if I pass this information along to my partner here, real quick? Of course. Or is this... Okay. Uh, so, uh, Pearl. Yes? Uh, Apparently, these two are not the head honchos. Uh, there is a bigger bird, the biggest bird, if you will, uh, oh, that great. is requested. Uh, we, or at least, I'm not sure if it's we or more me, but uh, go to the nest. It's the point. That doesn't sound like a smart decision, but I also am not sure I really want to argue with them. No, that no, that's what I was thinking. So, shall I just proceed with the conversation? Um, I try hmm. informing them that the smashing the crystal did not kill all the zombies because we saw them at Town Square, right? Maybe uh, tell are... them that we need to discuss it with our fellow friendos um, before we can that, make any okay. decisions. So I'll turn to that. Buy us some time. Uh, so, personally, I absolutely do not want to argue with you, but there is, like, you remember there was a group of four of us. The other two uh, although their affliction isn't getting any better, it hasn't gone any worse. They are still alive. Uh, so I do feel like I should discuss this with those two as well. We we can summon them here, right? We had a noise thing. I'll go to Pearl saying this with the. We can we can summon them, right? Uh, Jay and Zaconis. Uh, I mean, we told them to yeah. come if they heard a big boom. Okay. You, oh, I'm sure yeah. we could make a big boom. We're good at making big booms. I feel the urge to suggest that they just take us on their backs and fly over the city until we spot James and Cronus. I'm sure I trust that. No, I won't well, say it, but I got the urge. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, we, we can we can have them come here, uh, or we can look for them together. Uh, we are currently looking for survivors in the town, but uh, I do want to discuss going to the master, you said. Uh, discuss that with the entire party, right? The master. I'm gonna yes. see John Sim. What, what was the yes for, face? Uh, the, the master, yes. Yeah, he yeah, okay. requests you. We shall wait until morning and hunt. You have until then to decide. Um, I assume quest... this is a not. That the choice is either die or join the master, isn't it? The last is from the vultures. He wishes to speak to you. What did they Can say? What did they say? Uh, that the, the we have until morning. Uh, I asked him if it's like a life or death kind of choice, like either we go or we die. Mm. Uh, he, he, they just say that the master, which is like what they call their leader, or I assume it's that leader, uh, wants to speak with us. So I think that sort of guarantees our safety for now. Uh, but yeah, until morning. Uh, I will ask them if we can know like what it's about. What does the master want to speak about, if they know? I mean, there's, surely there's no harm in just asking what it's about, right? Okay, uh, so I'll turn back to the vultures and ask, like, can you tell me anything specific he wants to speak about, or just how he wants to speak? The master. I mean. He did not say. Hmm. Well, that's all I can ask. So I say, I'll turn to Pearl again and say, oh, uh, they, uh, master did not specify what they're after. So I assume we show up at morning tomorrow and then join these... Okay. Big ass birds. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't sound like it could go horribly, horribly wrong at all. Okay, um, well, we should. What's the alternative? <sighs> These guys are faster than we are on, uh, on the wagon. Yeah. And you can hold your breath forever, and the corners can turn into a shark. But me and Jay are still pretty much dead. If I can't hold my breath you. forever. You can't. No, I, I can that. breathe underwater. Oh yeah, then, well, that's what I mean. Yeah, you can just you guys can submerge yourselves, and I assume the vultures can't get to you when you're deep enough underwater. You and Zaconis, but uh, me. I don't know and if you've Jay noticed, but there's no water around here. Can't bury myself in the sand. 
I guess we could have rushed for the seashore and that would the, again stick the birds, all over me. My the point, vultures, my point. Yeah, the vultures both take off. Uh, they look like they are going to see if there's anything they can eat. I guess we, like it. we continue looking for money, survivors, uh, or both. Preferably both. Okay. Uh, Frost, roll me 3d10. I think I know what this is for. That's 17. You find 17 gold. Okay, that brings me to so that and then and Zoe roll me three D four. Slightly above average. Six. You manage to find six gallons of water in various Ooh. containers. Heck yeah. Do we find any survivors? Uh no you don't. Any more zombies? Nope, every, everything seems to be dead around. Damn. Uh, back to the safe spot, I suppose, and I'll try to get another rested. So, mm -hmm. you guys are going back? Yeah. Uh, yeah, might as well. Jay, Veal, and Zaconis also heading back? I think so, as long as there's Thank nothing you. else around that area. Thank you for the raid, Starlight Tales. Very much appreciated. Welcome in, folks. Welcome in, Raiders. Uh, I hope you had a great stream. Uh, thank you for bringing your community over here. We are... We're, we're not going to be super good at responding to chat. We'll be typing in chat. Um, but we're we're playing a, a homebrew D and D campaign. This is my first time DMing, uh, and this is Javiel and Frost's first time playing. Uh, yeah, Zoe Hello. and not the first session, first campaign. <laughs> Zoe and Zero are seasoned players, but welcome in, welcome in. If you if you like D and D, stick around. Also, tell us how your stream was. Tell us a little bit about yourselves. We like to get to know people, so. Um, seasoned but not salty yeah uh yeah <laughs> welcome in guys welcome Spicy in though. um <clears throat> okay so everybody is <coughs> going back to the the safe house that you've managed to find for the night uh you all sort of arrive <clears throat> pretty much around the same time uh the two assassins have not returned yet it's getting getting late now. It's pretty getting pretty dark. So either those assassins have been eaten, or they uh, just dipped with our information. In which well, case, never... I lost a lot of respect. In both cases, I lost a lot of respect for both of them. They never told us what they were going to do. So well, that is true. They might have gone a couple of days. Oh. How did you guys? Uh, how did you guys get on? Oh yeah, well, did you get get the message from Pearl? Yes, yeah, so you okay? Yeah, did that work? Yeah, yeah. About those vultures. Uh, it worked. I hope you didn't have any plans for tomorrow because uh, they want to oh. take us to uh, the master, which I assume is the biggest bird. Like, well, they said in the, the nest, so the, yeah. yeah. I assume they take us there. Guys, I, which I, means at least we get a cool joyride on a big ass vulture. I, I, I'm, I'm surprised I'm going to have to tell you this, but uh, we, we do have an appointment tomorrow with the assassins we just met, the ones that you were very excited to meet, and to meet their master. And now you're saying we have to go off with a couple of scary vultures. I don't, to be honest, I don't really want to go with the vultures, but I am also not sure that arguing with them is a good idea. They you know, are very, very big, and I'm pretty sure I could eat, uh, they could eat me with one tiny little nibble. Well, I'm sure the assassins will be perfectly perfectly fine with being stood up. If there's one thing I know is from all my years of uh, hopping from city to city and also spending a lot of time in, the, in like nature, is that humans are often less reliable than nature, so somehow I got the feeling that we should probably end up going with the vultures. 
Surely, what I mean, just bring the assassins along? Surely they, you know, they they're, understand. They're taking us to their nest. They're going to eat us. No, they want to talk to us. Oh, yes, of course. Yes. Would you argue? I doubt the assassins could take care of the big ass. Who would you rather fight? The two big ass vultures or the two assassins? Well, you know what? You may be right. I'd rather Maybe not they fight do just anyone. want a conversation. I'm presuming that's what they told you. They just wanted to talk. Yeah. Did they say what they wanted to talk about? Uh, apparently, it's a private matter because it's uh, so important that uh, it's only for our ears. The vultures did not know. Yes, of course. Private vulture business. Well, As it's... <laughs> technically, I do not know. If can, the master is a vulture or not. Look, can I just point something out? To Maybe you? they're a beast master. Yeah, they could be. Could be a I guy. Wish. Who lives in a nest. a really powerful ally to have if that's the case. If he can command two giant vultures. Of course, yes. And, you know, you know I, I, certainly I uh, dream of one day retiring and shutting up the shop and settling down in a nest. Now, I, I, I hate to say this, folks, but. I, I, I appreciate that it must have been a traumatic and scary situation for you to be caught out by the, the the vultures when you were out there, just the two of you. I wouldn't have wanted to take them on as, as, a, as a party, as a group. But they are inviting us back to their nest to meet what we could probably guess is the master vulture. I, I would say that that's probably not going to be in any smaller vulture. If it's a vulture. If it's a vulture, it's probably going to be the biggest fucking vulture. So maybe Think we don't the just, just blindly tell. walk into the nest of the biggest vulture that we've right, ever seen. Right, Jay, hear me out. Imagine we find loot on that adventure. The I do like right. the idea of what. having a big feather I'll accessory. You, I'll bet you 50 gold that they just want to talk. 50 gold, eh? 50 gold. <laughs> no, I'm not doing this with you again! <laughs> look, I, 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 I feel... I feel. Look, I don't, don't mean to be ratty, it's just... We didn't have the best of times either. We, we did find a survivor, at least... part of one. <laughs> Uh, half the I'm man. Gonna... He's half the man he used to be. Yes. <laughs> In my experience, usually people that are actually bad are a lot more sneaky about it. These guys seem kind of creepy, which probably means they're not that bad. They're probably uh, just misunderstood. It might, it might be the exact right? opposite. I'm not sure I'm in the best position to make this decision right now. Right? They're master manipulators. That's how they operate. Well, look, the we... vultures? No, the, 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 the assassins, I mean, as well. Oh, I meant the so vultures. So even if they seem trustworthy, they might not be. I'd rather go with the vultures. The They've assassins... guided us before. They've helped us before getting to the crystal. And they basically ensured a safe passage when we went to the crystal. I mean, they, they, helped, they helped us because we were going to secure their food source. People. Yeah, and for the but they also know that the zombies aren't gone yet, and they have seen that we are capable of smashing the crystal. They did um, mention this. Look, so right. in a uh, un uninfected people, um, so technically you and Zaconus at the very least would be really, really safe. Yeah, well, that as well. Much a little bit hurt you bring it, that up. It would only really be me and Frost that would be in danger. And Pearl probably just tastes like water if they want any. Real meal, it's probably me. Well, right. I think it's hey. fair to say if they just wanted to, they don't have to eat us, they could just kill us. Is Pearl like yeah. the celery of people? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> wow! Wow! Burn. Burn. <laughs> I mean, your, your skin is green, She's a... right? <laughs> She's like the mint of people. <laughs> oh, the mint, okay. That's... I just noticed the angry prowess. <laughs> Look, we could, we could go around in circles for hours, quite, like, trying to work out the the impenetrable motives of two very large vultures. I, I feel like we have an appointment with the assassins here tomorrow morning. I don't Why don't we wait that's... to see if they show to see if they show up first of all, and if they do, we can explain to them the vulture situation and see if we can uh, get a a brief stay on this 
long journey we have, have, have ahead of us. And who knows if they are committed to going with us and taking us to the the, uh, the guild hall, then perhaps they'll accompany us briefly to the nest. They yeah, seem fairly capable. The assassins to the birds, though, so uh, they might not be welcomed with the. They can wait outside the nest. Hospitality. Yeah, Either yeah, way, we good. have until morning until we can make, do anything. So we should definitely get some rest. <sighs> yep, Agreed. I agree yes. with that one. I'm still in a lot of pain from earlier. I don't mean to be ratty. Or heal. Would you like a shoulder rub? Maybe. <laughs> I'll Talk give you a shoulder rub. Okay. Zero, <laughs> what is your opinion <laughs> on the vultures, not vultures matter? Uh, I mean, anything that makes us not like half men over there is fine. I mean, could it assassins to kind of eat us with the vultures? still think they're going to eat us. I've watched a lot of birds in my time. I've seen a couple, and but... Everything that gets too. eaten is eaten at the nest. So... Sometimes they like to toy with their food, which might be our opportunity to escape. And, and I'm, I'm no naturalist, but I've certainly, are... I've certainly seen birds eat smaller things more often than I've seen them settle down for a nice chat over a cup of tea. Vultures tend to be the, the cleaners of uh, nature, yeah. as in they don't slay their own prey, they uh, eat the leftovers. Yep, yeah, that, that's only when the prey is bigger than them. No, You're no. not. Yeah, no, no, that, that, is, that is a good point. <sighs> Can I have my shoulder rub? However. <laughs> She's already giving you a shoulder rub. She's oh. just... <laughs> <laughs> However, if we can get the assassins to follow us, we or when we speak to them and meet with them, uh, we may be able to convince them <laughs> that these vultures are not interested in letting us leave alive. Ah, uh, uh, we can you off my nose, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> you say you want to kill the vultures once we're in the nest. I'm saying if it's an option. Assessment. Oh I'm yeah, I suppose. If it I comes suppose. to that, I'd rather have two trained assassins with us, convincing them these vultures are also a common enemy. Oof! Probably our best bet. I suppose. But Perhaps if we, we don't form. get the assistance of the assassins, it's if it's either choice. What are we doing then? Because it's Pearl and. You were with me on going for the vultures, right, Pearl? Well, uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. I, I, I guess so. I yeah. So we need a. Sorry, a tie I don't think we have much of a choice. No, yeah, that's what I'm saying as well. Yeah. Oh. But I do think if we could get the assassins to come with us, yeah. that would be very, very ideal. But if it's ideal. if we have to pick between going with the vultures or going with the assassins, what are we doing? Oh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the assassins will be understanding that we yeah. don't particularly I, want to argue with giant vultures. Yeah, no, that's fine. I, I would vote go with the assassins. I'm still fighting for the birds. Mainly because assassins have the same goal in mind that we do. We don't actually that know is what to their take goal out, is. Well, to take out the cult has been it is their common goal. These vultures they have no desire to help us. They've already stood and watched as we battled once before. They aided us in navigation. Yeah. And, you Not know, battle. favors for favors. Maybe once in the future we can call upon them if we help them out. No. I'd rather have two giant vultures than uh, two assassins. It's more than two if you get to the guildmaster. Why yeah, don't we just see if They ask money and vultures the, ask food, which is enemies. If the assassins come back in the morning, then we can 
talk to them about it and make a decision then. What she said sounds reasonable. Okay. Oh, oh, bell line. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys, uh, you guys sake, chat Jay. for a while. Uh, you, you you weigh up your options. You you know. <laughs> Uh, settle down for the night after about an hour uh, you don't hear the door open or close but the two assassins just have slipped into the room without any of you noticing uh, what are the holes in the I, will, I will say Lobotto would notice because he cannot be surprised he goes into sentry mode next to me when I'm sleeping well Lobotto noticed but you didn't <laughs> and that's fine that's fair yeah no i wouldn't i wouldn't oh, notice at all if we're, still, if we're still in uh the i wanted to make them do a cool assassin appearance yeah. but no it's not no it's not allowed no no no, no you should definitely no you you do that you do that and i'll have just love how i react to it if they're not dangerous <laughs> If they're not gonna actively Sorry. harm us, I wouldn't know. If they are gonna harm us, I would be alert to danger, which is the natural uh, explorer thing. Yeah, when you're no. asleep. You know, Lovato's watching the other I door. So, he's he's yeah. watching the he's watching the front door, and that's not no assassin would come in through the front door. <laughs> they <laughs> engage in another activity. No, yeah. They they, they appear in a puff them. of smoke. There you go. A magical poof. Magical oh no, poof. no, don't don't pull out on it. Well, it was gonna be good. I, I don't I don't let me ruin it. <laughs> no, they do some cool assassin shit and they appear in the cool. room. Um Lobato just pokes his head through the door. Sir, did I miss something? <laughs> it just smashes the door frame, his head like a cartoon just comes through the door. Yeah. Yeah, like the cool leg guy. <laughs> oh yeah. Just his head, just oh his head. yeah. Oh sir. Lobato's head comes smashing through the door and presumably be wakes some of you up. I don't know who. <laughs> Every it's one hour into the night, right? I mean, yeah. If you guys went, if any of you went to sleep, or if any of you stayed up, then I was going to stay up. Actually, we can finish. Yeah. Oh, I'm Starko. Off quickly, right? I'm I'm Starko. I'm curled up in a little ball. I'll I'll wake up and see if it's worth staying awake or just going back to sleep. They just seem to be settling down and like getting ready to take shifts on on guard should i can i tell them about the vultures tell them what you want yeah whatever you want uh so you know guys how we had like an appointment tomorrow going to uh the guild master yes yeah um so this is not unanimous but i'm pretty sure that something got in between it. Uh, as I don't know if you've been traveling these this tundra, this wasted land, you may have come across two particularly large vultures. I and when know I say of them, yes, yeah. Um, so they wanna want us to go to their nest and speak to the quote unquote master. They and, look at each other like visibly like confused like what and then they say no one's ever been to the nest so i assume that means that it's probably the 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 place we should if it's like a hideout rather than oh we're gonna die because you say no one's ever been in and it feels like a massive honor uh i can but yeah they said uh we have until morning until uh, to decide whether we're coming with or not. Uh, I'm not sure what happens if we decline their offer, so that m might just result in death. Sorry to interrupt here, but uh, you said no one's ever been to the nest. No one's ever been. Not No one's ever come back. No one's ever been. Well, that's what I was looking for clarification on, actually. Yeah, yeah. No, no one's ever been to the nest. No one's ever been able to find it. So it's a massive honour, Jay. Imagine the story that would sell those feathers would sell for a thousand gold. If we if we survive any of this, remind me to sell you a timeshare at some point. Sure thing, buddy. But uh, 
I can ask if you guys can tag along with the vultures, but they, I, they've only met our group, so they might be specifically interested in us. Uh, but then afterwards, we could come with the, with you to the guild master, and we can do both. And you know, we have a little bit more protection to ensure we can help you out later. And you, well, you have you're with us. I guess probably still more dangerous to go to the nest than to follow you across the road. But I guess if the road were dangerous. You then have us once we get to that point. Mm. Not to mention massive armor, of course, going with the vultures. We must report to the guildmaster as soon as possible. If you're what not... if the the vultures carry you? Do we at least get like a, a a way to contact the guildmaster then? We shall discuss. Give me a persuasion roll. Okay, uh, this adds my wisdom modifier because it's a charisma based trek. So this gets a plus five on whatever it lands on. That is not good. That is really, I... that is oh, really frost. bad. I... Come on, you didn't give me. What's wrong with me? I'll say I'm going to give that a plus five from all my wisdom stuff because I can do that. So that's a five, but also. Uh, yes. Hand. Yes. <laughs> I suppose that is true. Ow. Okay. Does anyone else want to weigh in to this conversation? Yes. Please. My only contributions are gentle snoring. Yeah, I would Very I would nice. like to uh, I would like to uh I, I seeing seeing that uh you know yeah, Frost I, I mean, I, I'm so confused because Frost was like fanboying over the assassins n n not a few hours ago and is now like, but it's a huge honor to get inv invited to the vulture's nest. <laughs> so I am just bemused. Uh, so I do cast guidance on myself and I will attempt to um, persuade, uh, persuade well. them. So, you know, in the event we decide as a group uh, that this invitation is worth investigating, can we convince you to hang on? Uh, just for a little while. We'll, we'll, if it's if it's too far away, I have no interest. But it's intriguing enough to be potentially worth investigating. And as much as I hate to admit it, they did point us in the direction of the uh, crystal ceremony that we interrupted the cultists taking part and then in. Like fanboying to us to Jay, is Their know? aerial view did serve a purpose once. Could we convince you to uh, hold on for us? Just just for a short while. Give us 48 hours. And, uh... Guidance. 1d4, yeah. Ooh. 17. 17. Uh, okay. The assassins start deliberating with each other and, and talking and taking a lot of things into consideration. Uh, they turn to you and say we have to report to the the guild master but we will leave you with this and the drow takes off her mask uh with the little raven on it and hands it to javiel cool <laughs> uh and this will will help me yeah this will allow us to find you Allow you to find, find us. us. And oh. communicate if we need to. And what if we need to communicate with you? I assume our best bet is to smash the mask so they know it went dark somewhere and then we're clearly in trouble, but that would be a last resort and a one-time use only. They are not going to reveal the secrets of how to use their magic, um, but they reassure you that as long as you have that mask on you, uh, then they will be able to find you slash semi-contact you in, in some sort of way. You're not really sure what that means yet, but uh, that's all they're giving you right now. <laughs> Understood. But just to clarify, I don't have to wear this. If you don't, I will. I'll just immediately <laughs> jump on that. It works Great, better if you kind of... wear it, but I'll you wear don't it. have I'll to, wear it. No. <laughs> I'm not, gonna let, I'm not gonna let this guy near it, don't worry. <laughs> I'm just gonna slip it just gently into my pack for the time being. Uh, 
Okay. Well, thank you for uh, for your understanding. Uh, yeah, they basically settle down. They're like, they're they're like, okay, well, we're gonna leave. Uh, we're gonna get as much rest as we really have to, and then we're gonna just fuck off, basically. <laughs> um, before everyone turns in, or I mean, as everyone turns in, I don't know what everyone else is doing, but I'm going to. Just slip off for a moment into another, either another part of the building or another part of the house or around the back. Okay. Something I want to do. Uh, do you want to give me a stealth check? Sure. 13. Should I stealth as well? You make it relatively <laughs> quietly to where a, 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 a nice solitude place. Uh, Lobotto is with me, as always, um, and I'm just sort of quietly grumbling about uh, this, this crazy vulture situation to him. He's doing his usual thing of being kind of just dutifully listening, yeah, um, <laughs> impassively listening. So I'm just grumbling away, and I get my tools out, and I'm just like, "Sorry, old chap. I hope you don't mind if I just I just just need to get in here." And I go around to his back, and I'm just start to prize. One of the plates from his uh, from his uh, his back assembly uh, away. It's like, hope that doesn't hurt, old chap. No, sir. I'm just get it clear. It's like, just going to borrow this for a moment, if you don't mind. And uh, I kneel down uh, in in this room, and I draw from my pocket the amber gem that I discovered in the ashes earlier, and. I place it on top of the metal plate and uh, start to uh, summon my my artificer powers, uh, directing them through my through my metal working tools, and uh, I just start to give it give it a bit of this. Hang on a sec. Let's see if we can do it. Uh, is it this one? Is it that one? No, it's not that one. Hang on. It's that one. Oh, superior scientists. Hank Metalli, Formum Viem Beauté. Oculus Aperi, Horens Aperi. Obdite Perceptum Mio. Patere Sintalum, Patrum Suorum in Cordoba Suetris. Et possibi betterum. Odite me. Odite me. Put it to me! <laughs> and there's a pretty sizable uh, electrical discharge from this little spell casting. Yeah. Would I have seen this? Because I'm. And I'm uh, awake, right? I, uh, I, I, I collapse from the from the exertion, um, and uh, and and basically, it just provided it doesn't disrupt anything you want to do, Facey. Uh, this may constitute my my long rest, so it might be the morning that I kind of wake up. Depending uh, on, as long as that, it's not everyone, you know, depending on what everybody else wanted to do, or I can wake up much quicker than that. You you need some rest. You're tired. You you're asleep. Okay. That was a lot of energy that you just used. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> when I do come to, I'm. Uh, I sort of start to realise where I am. The Lobato still stood there. Are you quite all right, sir? I think so. Well, did it work? Tell me it worked. I was unsure as to what you were looking to achieve, sir, but... Yes, I would presume that this constitutes working. Well, all this... And a... All this is in the future oh. uh, because as everyone falls asleep uh, oh. at some point during the night the assassins slip out and leave you guys wondering you guys are probably like what the fuck are they, are they thinking? They've got some plans of their own uh, and now they know how to find you at all times uh, is that a good or a bad thing? Who knows? And and in the dead of night, while everyone's asleep, uh, 
Frost feels a a stick hitting him in the ribs. Oh no! <laughs> and he wakes up and hears a voice. <laughs> come on, lad! It's time to go. We've got some business to do. Come on! Come on! Come on! <laughs> Oh, no. He's oh, back. I've got a job for oh. you. Let's go, oh, no. let's go, let's go. Wake oh, up. Come on, boy. I'm fucking awake, you old <laughs> bastard. Nobody <laughs> else has woken up. They can't hear Wait, this. He, am, I, am I teleported to him? Or am I... Like, <coughs> you're, in, or you're in... The, you're in... He's in the um, room with you, with everyone else, but nobody can hear this, just you. I'll just go... Oh, fuck old man. Not again. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on, let's go! Yeah, no time to waste! A fucking contract! <sighs> just, uh, hold on, let me get my stuff at least. I can't wake them up, can I? Uh, no. Did nothing you, you do or or say to them will wake them up while, while he's here. You put them under sleep! You put them <laughs> under sleep, so you're fucking nasty. <laughs> it's it's less you that, and it's sleep? just that you while he's here and in the you're in the vicinity of his spell you're basically in a different plane you're just in the same room they just can't hear or see you <laughs> it's like a limbo version yeah <laughs> space-time continuum we're just outside reality or some shit okay well uh fucking what happens again if i decline uh you <laughs> you never let me read the contract fully <laughs> Instant, instant death. <laughs> you you can try to decline, but it just comes out as a. <laughs> I just physically cannot oh, decline. Yeah, you can't I'll say the, the words. Word. There's, there's no words that you can say that mean <laughs> I won't do this for you. It... <laughs> yeah, he, can't, he can't say no. <laughs> okay, well, uh, fine. What, 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 where are we going this time? Better have another. Letters for me. With me, lad! And he opens a portal and just shoots <laughs> you through it with magic. He just <laughs> whips you through it. You know, like when Gandalf is fighting uh, Saruman and they're like but, uh, whipping each other around. I still haven't seen it. And he, uh, and he just sort of like <laughs> whips you through the portal and then jumps through behind you. Yeah. Um, and everyone else is unaware that this has happened. Can I ask the, the guy, the, the wizard, what was the wizard's name actually? Was it Bob? No, no, I, I you feel don't. Like I had it somewhere in my notes. He, what was the wizard's name? He forgot his name because he's so old. Oh yeah, no, 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 yeah, that, that is true. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, yeah, I have this here. Magic letters. Yeah. No. It, as, yeah, it says so as, here. Yeah. As Frost disappears through the portal, uh, Dog just goes. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he goes back to sleep, which is the only one who just slightly stares. Okay, well, uh, and that's where we're going to end it today. Oh, come on. Oh. Come on. Uh, <laughs> I thought that's where I was going. Please. Mm -hmm. Face. Just, just oh. 10 minutes. Come on. Please. You can't leave me hanging like that. Just begging for wait. more. I can't wait another week for this. You're going to have to. Uh, I have to wait two weeks because you won't be here. I don't get to see my reveal. So he mm. wakes me up from my sleep and then proceeds to knock me out cold for a week. No, he's taking you off to do a job yeah. somewhere. Yeah. You're yeah. contractually obliged to do shit for him. <laughs> and he's like, You're doing shit for I'm me now. Incapable. It's a great honor. <laughs> <laughs> Could I? No, it's too late now to say. To say, because he swung me through the portal, I couldn't even leave a note. Too bad. <laughs> yeah, I would probably can. also be out of existence. <laughs> yeah, you're gone. God damn it! So uh, I can't say the vultures didn't take me. <laughs> God damn it! I want to be with the vultures, face. I can't. I want to do both, honestly. Well, yeah. You will sign these silly contracts. <laughs> <laughs> This, this is what we call consequences. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I already got the consequence of uh, losing one health, like health max. And every time I level up, it's also one less. Because you literally signed your life away in season one. 
No, I your didn't. actual soul. I, the, the, <laughs> we still Season one. We still don't know this. If I sort my soul, uh, we now know I cannot decline. That that is something I know. You know. Pretty... I think you having no idea what you signed away really yeah. makes my point for me. <laughs> But the health was the lettuce that I ate. I didn't, I didn't say I have to eat the lettuce. Eat the lettuce. <laughs> that is, it's contraction. I have to eat the lettuce. <laughs> GG, guys. So you did well with the RP this session. <laughs> yeah. You did. I think you. Yeah, man, I don't fucking know. <laughs> I'm not even sure a decision has been made yet. No, yeah. Yeah, I, well, the, the, I'm uh, rarely confident I've made the right decision. I'm just <laughs> flying along by the seat of my pants. You know, the well, only thing I'm confident I did right was giving Javiel a shoulder rub. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that Jack <laughs> would be the type that says, "Well, uh." I don't know if the other decision would have ended any better or any worse, so can you really regret it? <laughs> Frost would never feel like, unless something is very, like, in the moment already bad things happen, then yes, like killing the wrong guy, which is honestly probably more of a mistake than a choice. But one that Frost would definitely make, but yeah, I would not regret any decisions. We got some... Uh... We got an interesting call back as well with with Gaffis and Vornala. Yes. That's the spin off that I missed, I think. Which I yeah. swore I could have uh, swore uh, you were gonna make me do the voices for, which I was down. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I would have been down for that as well. I, I would have, I just didn't want to give you a load of information. Uh, like, do you know what I mean? That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There must spoiler. be something that requires still. You should, you should do. <laughs> you could have. You could have like DM'd us one sentence at a time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Say this. <laughs> Read the script, damn it. Yeah, man, you've not got enough to do over there. You need to stop pulling your weight, mate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. But yeah. Gonna uh, okay. GGs, guys. Uh, everyone watching on YouTube, thank you for watching. Thank you for chilling out and being here. Yeah. Catch us live every Wednesday on Twitch uh, if you haven't already. Uh, and go check out these guys. Their links will be in the description. What's the um, link again? D&D? Yeah, D&D. There you go. Uh, well, and also, good. yeah, check out um, Starfinder on, on J Javen's channel as well. Uh, for now, thank you, Karen. Bless you. And music uh, on Tuesdays. Bless you. <laughs> and on that note, we'll see you. We'll see you next time, YouTube. Uh, thanks for watching. Look Bye. after yourselves. Be excellent to each other. Peace out. Eh.